Welcome to Coach Hayes Football and the team. That's right. If you're here, that means you want to become a team member, and here's how you do it. Simply join up. There are three tiers. The first tier is the player tier. On this tier, you get to use special emojis as well as you will get member shout outs. The second tier is the coach tier. Now, here's where you get prioritized in the comment section on live streams, discounted merchandise. You also will receive access to early videos and private videos. The third tier is the coordinators tier. This tier right here is where it gets really exciting. You get to skip the phone lines and be next automatically. Also, you can join me on the screen, right? During the live streams, you get to come on the screen and talk your talk. Also, we'll be watching some games together. So you'll get specialized and private links in order to watch the games with coach live. Just a quick note, the higher the tier, you also get the perks that go below it. That's really exciting. So not only that you get the perks for that tier, but you get the ones that follow underneath as well. So don't hesitate. Go ahead, hit that join button, become part of the team with Coach Hayes, and become a player, coach, or coordinator. And I'm telling you, we're going to have a great time this season. Sports fans are gearing up at Interstate Sports, your home for officially licensed fan gear. We have jerseys, custom frames, team signs, draft tumblers, and more. For every sports fan's needs, visit interstatesportsgifts.com. What's up, what's up, what's up, Kane Nation? I need to know everything looks good, sounds good in the building. I already see y'all in the chat already, y'all loading it up. We Batman with Kane's talk, man. I know the boys been off. There we go, LMV already in the building. Enough said. Once she said, that means it's the truth. Let's get into it, man, real quick. As you say, man, shout out to our sponsor uh, from interstatesportsgifts.com. Right here, as you see, LMV has put the link as well as it is in the description as well. Uh, Coach also got coffee, man. I don't have a coffee with me because I took it to work. I took it to work with me and forgot the bags in my office. So check in the description below. If you're a coffee drinker, we got one called the Insane Ibis. You know that's for the Hurricanes. Can't really use the Canes, but Insane Ibis, right? little caramel version. We got a poor little Timmy breakfast blend. Go check it out. We got that blue chip coffee, the uh, Bali Blue, as well as we have um, the Brazen Buffalo, right? It's a little strong cowboy blend. But anyway, go check those out. The best part about it, what you see, it's $19.99 for a 12-ounce bag, but there's no shipping and there's no taxes. So what you see is what you pay exactly. So that's exactly what it is. And some people are like, well, Coach, that's a little much. It might be, but guess here's the best part about it. They don't roast the beans until you uh, until they ship it, rather. So it's not sitting on the shelf, sitting in a warehouse somewhere, just sitting there like Dunkin' Donuts or even Starbucks. Coach Hayes is going to give you the best. So go ahead and go knock that out as well. I appreciate it. Also, let me get this out the way. I forgot it was one more thing I had to say. Oh, Interstate Sports Gives, like I said, you see it right down here. For all your sports memorabilia needs, go check out my man Trevor. He is a huge Miami Hurricane fan. He's got all kinds of stuff. And the best part about it, if you don't see something, if you don't see something, call him on the phone. Trust me, he's going to pick up and he'll find it for you. He called me the other day and said, Coach, a dude called me all the way from Saudi Arabia for a Miami Hurricanes hat. Got up out the bed and went and shipped it to him the next morning. That's what I'm talking about. A hey, great service, great cane, great sponsor. He helps this show go. Let's get into it, man. The Miami Hurricanes, I titled this deal. Uh, Miami's coordinators, Dawson and Gidry, are bringing the Canes back. I want to know in the chat what you guys think about Coach Lance Gidry right now, the defensive coordinator and the offensive coordinator, uh, Shannon Dawson, and what they've done so far. I'm going to give you my opinion about it. 
uh, and talk about these guys, right? There's a lot of unknowns, especially don't like to go back because, you know, hold up, if I got to go back. Back in the days when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. But some days I sit and wish I was a kid again. But anyway, back in the days, right? Not too long ago. But we had, <laughs> shout out to Warren, the SEAL Team 6 of coaching. And it didn't really pan out. I mean, we had some heavy hitters when it came to names. And I still think they're good coaches, right? And I think we want to talk about that too when we get into the uh, the phone line section. Because you see Maryland is undefeated. And they have uh the Broyles Award winner coach Josh Gaddis. They're undefeated. They're getting ready to take on Ohio State. A lot of people are saying that Maryland might upset Ohio State this weekend. I don't know. I don't know. But we're gonna find out. All right. And of course we have Danny Miez or aka Manny Diaz over at Penn State. I think they rank number five or something like that. And uh they're doing their thing and they're undefeated as well. So I love the talking chat since everybody like to bring up those names from back in the day. But, uh, yeah, that's what it is. Hey, OG Kane, appreciate it, man. They say that coffee's on point. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, OG Kane in the building. And A63 Kane, <laughs> before I get started, I'm going to do this roll call, but A63 Kane, tell me I'm going to get slapped. You don't slap me in no fantasy. Matter of fact, I got to play you twice. I got to play you in two different doggone uh, leagues, man. I saw you. I've been watching you. Huh? Coach like oxygen. I'm everywhere and nowhere at the same time. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Anyway, um, before I get to the roll call, I do want to make sure I have everything set. I'm glad to be back talking about these canes, man. I, you know, I know y'all get on me about the Colorado stuff, but co coach is not just a businessman. I'm a business man. Huh? Shout out to Jay-Z. You got to make it happen, man. So you know, it is what it is, and we're going to definitely make it happen. We're trying to expand this channel and do some things and, and bring you a lot more content. But right now, it's a one-man band in this thing. We're doing all kind of stuff, playing trumpets and everything at the same time, but we're going to make it happen. Also, go pick up your merch, your cane juice shirt. Uh, 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 uh. Let's go get it. I'll be at the Clemson game with the cane juice, and it's going to be biting. So go check out the merch, the Polo Timmy stuff. Everybody gets 10% off. Use promo code Timmy10 at checkout. But if you are a member, if you are a member, you get a little bit more. Go check out the community tab. Also, y'all didn't know this, but for all the members, I'm doing a giveaway. I'm going to do it in the, I want to say the post-game show. I want to do it in the post-game show, but you have to be there in order to win your prize. You got to be able to call in and, and uh, to accept the, the, the giveaway. So if you are a coordinator, which is the highest tier, you get three entries. If you are a coach, you get two entries. And if you are a player, a.k.a. Polo Timmy, which I appreciate, don't get me wrong, you get one entry. So definitely we're going to have that there. So just want to put that out there today that you must be present for the post-game show as well as, you know, we're going to have the champagne room open so we can watch those games up in there, man. So I'll have those links coming out here soon. Anyway, a 63 can you talking trash in the chat? Huh? You talking trash? All right. I know coach a little all over the place, man. I've been working on some stuff real quick. Let me do a shout out here, man. Uh, let's see here. DMO 1705. Coach Gidry was my teammate in college. All right. Great pickup by the Canes and a huge loss for our alma mater to do the administration, remove him and his staff. Um, we haven't won since shaking my head. Shard, Shard, excuse me. Go Canes. Go coach. Hayes. Appreciate it. Courtney Joe, AKA Google man in the building. That's what I'm talking about, baby. And, of course, the producer, as always, yeah, can't just be biting, baby. Hold on. Ah, Coach made that one a little strong today. Mm. If you ain't there, the cane juice will get you there. I promise you. Shot town cane in the building. What's up with you, brother Jay Blaze? Shana Boo in the building. What's up with you, Shana Boo? How you doing? All right, that's Ray Ray Joseph's sister in the building and the first person to purchase the cane juice at the game. So come on, Shana Boo, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, the juice in the building. Here we go. Um, of course, A63 Kane got to give him all <laughs> slaps because I got to whip him up in fantasy. On uh, the fantasy rolling too, y'all. Uh, Slow folk, uh, CWO, appreciate you here. Let me get a couple of more. 
And while little, what's up? I got to get these members. If you see that little symbol next to their name, that means they are a member. Or if it's green in the chat, that means they are a member. All right. Tattoo Terry. I'll never, ne never disappoint Tattoo Terry. Where's Pilo? Huh? Where's Pilo? Anyway, Bishop Frank for the 555. We ready. We ready. Boomer, it's time. Never flinch. Sooners all in. God doggone it, Bishop. You just happen to trot your behind over here to Kane's Talk Live. And you talking about some boomers, Sooners. Man, you come right out of a comic book. Get that crap out of here, man. I appreciate the 555, though. Hey, for 10 10, boy, I'll slap you twice. Anyway, I'm just teasing. Insane DW, what's up with you, man? You got to come hang out with us in the champagne room, man. You don't be hanging out with the boys, man. All right. Oh, we got Lucius Tate up in here, huh? I see you, Lucius. I'll be seeing you out there. Anyway, there go. See, come on, boy. Pilo, boy, you must have seen the bad signal. Pilo, shout out to the best channel on YouTube, Coach Hayes Football. My man, appreciate you. All right. Let's go on. The, let me stop the bloviating in the words of E. Brown and get to it. Also, I found out I look like a dude named Boo, Car Boo Capone. Bro, that was hilarious. If y'all know who Boo Capone is, put a thumbs up in the chat. If you don't know, go Google him. Look at him. Look at me. And then come back and then put a thumbs up in the chat. That's hilarious. Anyway, let's talk about these, these coordinators in here. I know I'm kind of a little bit all over the place. 106 people in the building. All right, here we go. <sighs> Coach Crystal Ball comes in i'm gonna kind of recap a little bit coach crystal ball comes in to the miami hurricane from oregon with a lot of hype he comes in first season doesn't doesn't fare too well we end up five and seven i'm not gonna go over that i'm done with it. he cleans house on the coaching staff cleans some of the roster off i think 45 guys uh come pick up your jet and that's exactly what they did. Or maybe they sent him a bus ticket. I don't know. Bring in some more guys. There was some weight when it came to the hiring. And I think that's kind of always been uh, a consistent or the consensus of the fan base about why does Coach Cristobal wait so long for hires? I've definitely been one of those guys who brought that up and said, hey, man, listen, listen, we got to get these guys in the building and so forth and so on. So anyhow. He hires Lance Guidry, and he hires Shannon Dawson as the coordinator. To this point, they have done a phenomenal job. Now, people are going to say, especially my Kane haters, they're going to say, well, coach, y'all ain't played nobody. Well, guess what? Last year, we ain't played nobody either, and we ain't looked this good. So miss me with that foolishness. Miss me with this fool, that foolishness. All right. So that's where we are with it. As they come in, we kick off. We start off the game. Let me pull up this stuff here. I had it set up, but move the doggone thing here. All right. Miami currently right now is sitting pretty. Start off with Miami, Ohio, 38 to 3. Um, people thought we should have scored more. But I think we have to take into consideration a little bit. No excuses. The new rule change so far as the clock. I don't think you're going to see a lot of these high-scoring games. You're going to see a lot of these games, unless the, teams are, the team is just terrible. You're going to see a lot in the 40s now. You're not going to see those 63 points. I don't still don't know the world. Oregon score 81 in today's football. That, that team must have been just bleh, Portland State. But anyway, we play them 38-3. to Boom. Come out against Texas A&M. Everybody, including myself, slap myself. Damn it. Dang, gone. I almost lost a tooth. Mm. Slap myself too hard on that one. Golly. Maybe I deserve it. I thought we might have taken the L to Texas A&M. But lo and behold, the dynamic duo, Gidry and Dawson, show up. And we win 48 to 33. Pretty much a convincing win. Looks good. Firing on all cylinders. Then we come in and we play 
Bethune Cookman, 48 to 7. Go to Philadelphia and get a Philly cheese steak on the dog on an owl cheese steak. How about that? An owl cheese steak over there on the Temple Owls in Philly, 41 to 7. So we're scoring good points, 38, 48, 48, 41. Quickly on the average in there, yeah, I say 41, somewhere in there, 43. I don't know what the average is, but right now somewhere around there. Go into this bye week, and now we're going to take on the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, the Bumblebees. Anyway, quick love, man. Bishop Frank, appreciate you for the 555. My my family, V12, Brother J. Blaze, Miss Ellen and Coach Hayes. Oh, man, you always family, bro. I got to give you a hard time. And Falconer, TRX. What's good, Coach? What's up with you, man? How you doing? And again, Falconer, TRX. Nothing like a night game at Miami is fire. We're supposed to be wearing the Miami night uniform. We're going to find out. We're going to see what that's going to be all about. Like I said, I don't get into it. I was watching Street and the boys the other day. I think Street said he asked uh, Coach Crystal Ball, how did, how did they come to the, I guess, conclusion or to agree when they're going to wear these black uniforms? And he said, yeah, they gave me the old political answer of, hey, man, uh, you know, we got a committee and seniors and all that stuff. Yeah, we could wear it every Friday or Saturday. It's up to me, just being honest. Just being honest. Just being honest. So Georgia Tech comes in. Haynes King, who was the quarterback at Texas A&M, is now at um, Georgia Tech. All right. And they're not faring so well. They're two and three right now. Here's the funny thing about it. You know, I told you, as you watch, as you play the fantasy league, you look at things a lot different. Haynes King is one of the top performers when it comes to fantasy points. Now, that doesn't necessarily always translate to wins and losses, but we're, what, what I'm saying is he's doing certain things. But let's go ahead and get this thing kicked off and, and get it started. He is, they, they lost against Louisville by five points. They beat the Bajis out of uh, South Carolina State, 48-13. They lost to Miss, uh, Ole Miss, 48-23. Beat Wake Forest, 30-16. to And lost to Bowling, bro. They lost to Bowling Green. Now, I'm a big believer in, <laughs> I'm a big believer in not looking at a team and say who they lost to and we should win because they lost to these people. And uh, Bowling Green might be rolling. I don't know if they are or not, but however, come on, Doc. You beat Wake Forest 30 to 16, come back and lose to Bowling Green. That's a straight uh wait a minute. Where's my dog gonna think at, man? Hold up. Can't where's my thing? Can't find it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Lose the bowl of green. Get that crap out of here, man. Oh God, what is Bowling Green record? Bowling Green, they two and three. Yeah, that's terrible. So hopefully we'll walk out of here with a convincing win. And we'll definitely see what's going on. But like I said, Georgia Tech is in bad place. I think Chris Leary, who was here actually, I coached him when he was in ninth grade, but Chris Leary was here from Orlando. We end up going to Alabama, but I believe he transferred over to Georgia Tech, and he does some return duties right now. And we'll talk about those guys. I'm not going to get too deep about it because I'm going to talk about it in the pregame show, so I'm not going to really break them down tonight. I just want to talk about the coordinators, how they look so far, how does the fan base like them, what do they think about Gidry and Dawson. Of course, it should be all positive, but I want to hear some criticism as well. What is this? Some, I know we're going to have 90% of the call should be praise. But I want to hear some of that 10%. What are the things that we're being blinded by love right now? What are the things that we're not seeing that maybe you see, right, that you can say, hey, well, wait a minute. This could come back and bite us. This could not. These things right here need to be fixed on. These things need to be and so forth and so on. Let me give quick love right here. Y'all rolling in the chat today. I appreciate you guys. Uh, Frederick. Frederick Williams, Canes for Life for the 999. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Falcon again for the 305. Great to have Cam Kitchens back. Who else? Yes, Cam Kitchen shows up. I figured he would. 
take advantage of those games we had the bye week to get healthy, get back right. And uh, I'm excited to see him come back in and play and definitely make it happen, man. So I'm super excited about that. All right, let's go ahead and, and get this thing going. I'm going to open up this line right quick. I want to talk to the people. We'll be on here for a little bit. But I do want to talk to the people in regards to uh, and load up the queue in regards to those things. 862-799-9956. There it is. You can start popping in. And let's talk about it. Let's chat about it. Let's see what it's all about. Um, and you'll have two minutes to, you know, give your point and we can go back and forth. All right. There are several players, I believe, uh, that we have to make sure we watch out for, which is Haynes King, which is one, the quarterback. Okay. And again, I'm gonna talk about this in pregame, be very vague. I just want to talk a little bit. And then uh they have two running backs, Cooley and a guy named Jamal, Jam- Jamal Haynes as well. I think those two guys can make it happen. But Georgia Tech, and I haven't had a chance to really see a lot of their games, I'll be very honest. Um, but I definitely will will work my way to it as we get closer throughout this week, which is not far away. But uh, like I said, 862-799-9956, call on in. Let's talk about it. Uh, Beast Mode says, Leonard Taylor has to show more. Click it. Okay, here we go. Yep, Leonard Taylor has to show show me more. Yeah, he popped out on in the Temple game. But I need him to show my, you're, you're 100% right. I need him to impose his will on these opposing offensive lines. Impose his will on these offensive linemen. Mark Stample, what's up with you, man? Uh, we hung 48 on AM. Most anyone else has scored on them is 24. Yeah. I mean, I I maybe I'm wrong in saying this. I got Blaze in the back, brother Jay Blaze. And I might be wrong in saying this, but y'all could. we look good. We look damn good. But I want to see that explosive, like, maybe I'm asking too much, but y'all, can y'all feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah, TVD, uh, he darting, he throwing the ball. Him and Restrepo got the, Jacoby Young got, Kobe Young got there, Jacoby George out there. Running game looking good. But I feel like I'm, I'm just missing a little, uh, does that make sense, or am, I, or am I tripping? If I'm tripping, let me know. But we're missing that little, uh, uh, and I don't really know what it is. I don't have a complaint about the running game. I don't have a complaint about the passing game. Kevin Beer said we're going vertical, but doggone it, we're going to do that. But it's something, of, uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, or, or, or am I living Back in the days. Back in the days when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. But some days I sit and wish I was a kid again. Am I missing the... Uh, uh, you understand what I'm saying? Like, and I have to be honest with you, I can't call it, but I'm uh, like... Uh, you got to crawl before you walk. I understand. Shoot. We're going to make it happen. Blaze, what's up with you, baby? How you doing? What's going on, Coach Hayes? What's up, everybody? Hello. I'm good. I'm good, man. This weekend. Man, we got a big one. Those bye weeks are only a week off, but Brother Jay Blaze, it feel like a month, bro, don't it? Yeah. Yeah, but we, we got to take care of business, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. One game at a time. We got to get this win. The first ACC game, matter of fact. The other four games was just – this practice. This is the first first ACC. These games count. These games are important. Uh, one game at a time. We can't look at no other game but this game coming up. And just like Mario said, uh, we got to stay focused and regardless of the uniforms, regardless of what took place in the last four games. You got to stay focused and, and get this win. You know, we got we to gotta dominate mm-hmm. in the trenches. Mm-hmm. And we got to score. We got to put points up, and we got to put pressure and, and and not turn the ball over. You know that's that's very important. No, I, I agree. And, and, I agree. And the fans got to come out to the game. Yeah, I, I agree with that. But let me ask you this because we're gonna get into pre, we're gonna get into the the talk there. But I do want to talk to you and and anybody else who calls, really primarily about 
the coordinators. And this is something I want to look at. I want to kind of study them. Are you satisfied? What are you satisfied with? And if there's something you're not satisfied with, what is that as well? Okay. I'm I'm satisfied. I'm happy so far. But be honest with you, I haven't seen them enough. Mm. I haven't seen them enough. Before games, uh, each game showed a little something. But I'm sure that both Gidry and, and Dawson haven't put out all what they, they want to show. But um, I, I want to see a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Um, one one game, Texas A&M, you know, has some, you know, some credibility. But that's just one game. The other three games, you know, you look at it and, you know, you eat your popcorn and, and you're smiling. But yeah, these yeah. games are very important that we're about to play with these ACC teams. And these ACC teams know a little bit more about Miami in the past. They got film work so far on both coordinators, and I'm, I'm pretty sure they did some homework. So what, what I what, with with Gitry, you know, again, you know, we got to maintain the edges, uh, put pressure like he normally do, and, and do you know every, each play on that on that football field got to do their assignment. They got to make sure they you know take care of business on the football field, mentally and physically, and stay healthy, no injuries. Nah, yeah, I, I totally agree, man. But, Blaze, real quick, man, Morshawn, uh Fontaine says, Coach, why this man on the phone talking all smooth and ish like he talking to a chick? Well, let me tell you this. Y'all don't know Brother Jay Blaze. That's one of the smoothest dudes in D.C., baby. Huh? Talk to him, Blaze. Let him know who you are. Talk to him, yeah. man. Hey man, I'm just I'm just a regular old cat, you know, a fireman. You know, we a fireman, and uh, I'm a man of God, and uh, I, I try to stay positive in a lot of aspects in life. And I'm sure a lot of people will have to uh, do the same thing. You know, it's, it's it's a good thing when you uh, spend time with your family and put you know sports and entertainment secondary to your family. Make sure you spend time. Make sure you go to the doctor get checked out, make sure you take care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, you never know, you know, life, and I, you know, how, how long you're going to be on this earth. The true and story. I just want to say this. Look, I just want to say this. Off topic, Susie Pink and A63 with that fantasy football. Oh, it's, it's going down this weekend. That's, that's going to be a battle. Well, I'm going to tell you this. Brother Jay Blaze, we got to clap it up for you, brother. Brother Jay Blaze is actually the only one I think is undefeated in the fantasy so far. He's the only one undefeated. So, Blaze, you ain't just smooth with the vocals. You smooth on the fantasy as well, dog. And uh, A63K, <laughs> he finna get slapped around. But I appreciate it, man. Let me rock on and roll on, man. I got Shot Town Kane in the back. Yes, sir. Uh, champagne room, everybody. Champagne room this weekend. If you're not at the game. There All it right. is. I right, appreciate you, man. <laughs> All right, real quick, man. I'm Brother Jay Blade, man. I see my other man's up in here. I said, I want a battle. I want a battle. I said, hey, yo. We got my man, hey, yo, up in this thing. What's up with you, man? Y'all go check out Miami Mayhem show. No boys do a good job, man. It used to be the average Kane fan show, if you're not familiar. But they do their niche is looking at it from a fan's perspective. It's all about fans. And that's pretty cool layout, how they have it, man. So go check those guys out. My man Lex and A.O. in the building. All right. Um, I'm coming to you right now, Shot Town. Give me one second. I want to make sure I didn't miss a dono up in here. Um, I saw some Pilo said. <laughs> it wasn't this. It was something else. I feel like I'm at the players' ball every time Jay Blaze called in. That's funny. Oh, here we go. Pilo says, offense has exceeded expectations. We need more turnovers from the defense. Man, boy, if you didn't hit it right on the head. We got to have turnovers, and I hate to say this, and I don't know where we are. I think the 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 I think what I'm missing is that defensive oomph is the quarterback being harassed, being uh bullied. I want to see that dude on his back. I think that's what I'm missing on defense as I was sitting here listening to Blaze talk. And then when I flip it, offense, I think I'm looking for that dude. And I know, I know, 
drinking the cane juice. We don't drink Kool-Aid over here. We drink the cane juice. Ah. And every time I take a sip, I get a little bit closer to drinking. You know what I mean. And I think I'm looking for that 90 yard, go get them. I think that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that running back when he busts through the hole. Holla. Not the 20 yarder, not the 30 yarder, not the 40 yarder, not the 50 yarder, but that 70. That, uh, and you see that dude running, and he the only one on the screen with that you on the side of his helmet. And when he scored, he throw the ball over his shoulder, he'd be like this, ah, get some. That's what I'm looking for offensively. Defensively, I'm looking for taking the ball away, and I'm looking for harassing the quarterback. I think that's exactly what it is. Pilo, just what I needed, dog. Appreciate it. I think that's what it is. Uh, Shout out, Kane. What's up? Would you talk to me, baby? What's going on, Coach? How's your leg going? Man, I feel good. I'm hey, I'm back in my Kane uh, gear. I'm back in Kane mode. You know, we were off for a week, man. I flew out there to Colorado. <laughs> flew out there to Colorado. <laughs> you know, I did. I enjoyed the game, but I'm, I'm glad to be back talking about my cane. What's up with you, man? What's your thoughts on, on Coach Gidry, Coach Dawson, as the new coordinator for the team? Uh, not many complaints. Uh, I think what I like about Coach Dawson is he's not really trying to prove anything to anybody. He was just like, hey, if they give me the run, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run it. <laughs> if they give me the pass, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass. And as long as I end that drive with a touchdown, it really don't mean anything to me. You know, I think that's why it's a little different for us because we're used to, you know, like, all right, we're going to throw it deep and y'all can't stop us. But he's just like, hey, look, if y'all want to play man, we'll throw it deep on y'all. If y'all want to give us a light box, we're going to run it down y'all throats. It really doesn't make a difference to me. Mm-hmm. So I think that's why it's different for a lot of my angst fans. Um, defensively, I, I just need to be a little bit more – coverage of the uh, running backs out the backfield uh you know that's what i like um turnover wise what's weird is we've actually gotten seven turnovers mm-hmm. in four games we played it just doesn't feel like it right like you that's know, what like i'm saying it's like it's not like um i think that's what i'm saying i'm missing that mm. it's not statistically i'm not even worried about it it's just it, it it's like i feel like we're the, the a quiet the, the most quiet kept secret like in college football right now, and we are the U. Like how I think TCU was the most the 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 underrated quiet secret in college football. I'm feeling that like that, and I'm I'm, I'm feeling a certain way about it, Shaq, because because we the U, dog. We ain't TCU. We are the U. You understand? And we undefeated right now, regardless of who we play. I get it, but we knocked down the people that they put in front of us. And ain't nobody talking about us, dog. And I'm hot. But honestly, do you want to know what? I actually, I don't mind it. I, I like, I want to be like, you know, talked about. But at the same time, though, I need to see the the team actually do it against like UNC and and Clemson and and Florida State, especially after last year, because I think a lot of us Miami fans have a lot of PTSD. When it comes to okay, we beat up on teams below our talent level, mm-hmm. but when it comes to teams that are above or at the same talent level as us, we we falter. Mm. And I think that's why a lot of people are like are trying to bottle our excitement. That's why the ma- national media is bottling it up, especially since you know that team up north is is ranked ahead and they're un- undefeated, and you mm-hmm. know all this and that, and it, you know they got an agenda to push, and that's fine. Mm-hmm. But I feel like a lot of us are waiting on that big win. You know what I'm saying? Like if we beat if we beat UNC, that'll be a Miami Hurricanes fan dream because they beat us. I think what is it five years in a row? So we'll be excited if we beat Clemson at home convincingly. They, we are going to shut down Twitter. We're shutting down all social media, and the uh, the nation is just going to hate us. Because we're just gonna be the loudest, most obnoxious fans. In- obnoxious. Yeah, we just, we just gonna be straight disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and don't let us beat Clemson by more points than what Florida State beat them. Yeah, because that's just gonna be the worst. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think we're 
we're prepping ourselves. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, we're waiting to see what the team comes out because, you know, we weren't uh, the best team coming out of that bye week for years. And I think that's what the problem is. We're not focused on the team we have. Because I don't know if you've been paying attention to the interviews that the players have been doing. Mm -hmm. But a lot of them, when they ask questions about the uniforms, they're just like, hey, man, listen, like, the uniform could change whatever. But as long as the standard of football we play, that's what matters. That's what's exciting to us. You know, because a lot of the players are just like, you know, it's not a a joking mentality for them. They're just like, no, we're going out to play football. We're going to play our best. And mm-hmm. that's it. That's all. If y'all like the uniforms, y'all can like them. But we're going out there to dominate the football game, and that's what we're focused on. No matter what you put us through. No, I I, think yeah, I agree. Yeah, no, I mean, I totally agree with you a thousand percent. I'm just saying, like, you're you're right, right? Like, you're right. Coach Hayes got to calm down. I, I, I'm looking at my canes, and I'm excited. You know what I mean? I don't have to make up any excuses. I don't have a lot of people. I ain't never hog tied nobody. I ain't never. I don't even know how to hog tie nobody. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I'm just saying. I've got tired of lying. I'm up here in Gator Country and Florida State Country in Orlando. I see a U symbol every here and there. Every now and then, I see one, and we don't even throw it up at each other. We just do like this. Because we don't really want to get loud because the Florida State people be on us and the Gators be on us. And I'm tired. Coach, I'm surrounded by Ohio State and Notre Dame fans up here in the shot, man. Like, so, hey. Yeah, but, but, but you all know also. Go but but Florida State and Florida are a little different. I, I mean, I get it. But but I see number blue and orange and that doggone garnet and gold everywhere. And I be trying to rock my, gold, my, my orange and green. And they be picking on me, and I'm tired of it. Oh, yeah. But also, do you want to know why it's probably it's harder for us to, like, try and compose ourselves? Is because every team that's ranked ahead of us hasn't looked like we have. Like, every like Texas, after they beat Alabama, Wyoming had them in a close game all the way up until the fourth quarter. You know, every team ahead of us has had, like, issues. You know, like they haven't played up to their full standard. And we've been blowing teams out. Mm. And it's been kind of like, like we're just waiting. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, yeah, we've done it consistently. We look better than all the teams. But, like, are we really? Like, is it is it just, okay, like we're just more talented than all the teams we've played? Or, you know, like w- what's the difference? You know, and on top of that, I know in our heart of hearts, we know that we aren't talented enough to go win a national championship. But we're also like, but man, what? how good are we? Like, we're not, coach. You really think we're 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 ready to go play for a national championship right now? <laughs> no, but still, you ain't got to say it okay, out loud. So what is wrong with? Man, y'all killing me with this. I'm fighting for my life hey, up coach. here in Orlando, man. Y'all killing me with this. I ain't never hog tied nobody. But shot town Kane, I'm about to start with you. Coach, it's not, but it's okay to say that we're not. Like, listen, if we go ten and two, we win our first ACC championship game and win the Orange Bowl. That's good for me. That that's okay with me. Like, I, of course, I would love to go and go play a national championship, but like, I mean, I just don't see us there yet. I see us beating Florida State. I see us beating Clemson. I see us beating UNC. And if we if we don't lose the game this season, hey, I'll be the first person to be like, hey. It's Man, hold on. I'm going to stra- strap up, dog. Hey. I'm strapping the gloves up, dog. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm, <laughs> I can't even fit these little gloves. How did the world jump with these little gloves, man? I'm tired of it. I'm going to throw the U up on you, man. Because I ain't going to take no more of this, man. I ain't taking no more of this. I'm going to throw the U up on you right now. Because I'm tired of it. Coach, do you know what will make me? If it don't like, fit, okay, if it don't awesome. fit, you must have quit. But right now, the gloves fit. I'm tired. All right, OJ. But listen, like, if we beat Clemson convincingly at the Rock, I know we're for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know we are. But I just need to, we need to go up against 
North Carolina, and Clemson. And then if we beat those two teams, I mean, what's our, our next big, biggest text? Florida State? At, Florida, at Doak? Florida State, man. And, I still yeah, think we got to watch out for Louisville. I still think we need to watch for Louisville. But, yes, to, to just look at it off the top of the schedule, yes, you're right. Well, I feel like I, I feel like what will actually help us at Louisville is they got to come down to Miami. Mm-hmm. Like we're not there. They got to come down. They got to come down to Miami. So, and, and like Coach Morrow said, he's just like, listen, like we don't like they want to make the the Rock the hardest place to play in college football. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that mentality is actually spilling out into the players. You know, a lot of them are like, hey, listen, we we turn to big Rock. So I I don't I'm worried about Louisville, but I'm not concerned. Like they they don't. I, no, no, I, I get no, I, I, no. That's fair, but I'm just saying I think it's, you know, eh, yeah, you're right, dog. Yeah. But if we beat Clemson more than what that team of North beats them by, oh, we we just we gonna tear we gonna tear college football down. Man, I might wear orange and green every day. Anyway, let me rock on, oh. man. I got another. Uh, I got 84, 84 14 in the back. Oh, man, I appreciate it, brother. All right, Coach. Thanks, brother, man. Shot town Kane in the building. I like Shot town Kane. That's my man's right there. 84-14 coming. You give me one second. Uh, luxury vacation shot to $5. Uh, appreciate you, man. $5 for luxury vacation. Y'all go check them out. One time for the for the cheap ad in the building. Uh, you saw I had my OJ gloves on. If it don't fit, you must have quit. I saw some. Here we go. I like that one. Coach Kane Juice. The Kane Juice is loose. Huh? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, my gosh. I'm just tired, y'all. I'm tired. E. Brown, you lucky ain't had time to work on your stuff. But I know you're going to call in at the end. He in the tub with the rubber ducky. E. Brown, a.k.a. Scrub Daddy, a.k.a. Beta Mail. Hater. That's he's a beta male hater. Now he's not a beta male, but a beta male hater. E. Brown, the pontificator. A. Brown, um, the bloviator, the lo- loquacious E. Brown in the building. Anyway, 8414 in the building. Call or talk to us. Give us your name. Where you calling from? Coach, what's up? This is insane. So I'm sorry, say it again. It's insane. Insane. What's up? DW. What's up, man? Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? What did oh, Johnny yeah. walk at? Oh, what did Johnny oh, yeah. walk at? Oh, yeah. I'm on the green label tonight, coach. Well, that boy on that go label right there. That boy on that green label. That's that, that go. Green. Hold up, dog. Hold up. It's Wednesday, yeah. bro. It's Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> yes, Does sir. It with a y? Ooh, I like it. Uh-huh. I like it. Mm-hmm. I like it. Uh-uh. So I had to call in and, and check in with you. And first, I want to say shot time came. He had a lot of great points. A lot yeah. of great points. Uh-huh. You know, young man knows exactly what he's talking about. No, nah, he you did. So, but when it comes to the Kings, nobody's going to give us our credit until we win the whole thing. I, I agree with that. We've been, we've, been, we've been flossing for years. We've been off for years. And it's always it's just Miami back. It's Miami back, and we're not even close yet. We're finally getting close. That's why nobody wants to, you know, really believe what they're seeing. Mm-hmm. You know, so until we do it on the field and, and, and complete the task of getting past Florida State and Clemson, it's always going to be that narrative of, oh, same old Miami. But they just don't see that this year is different. All right, and so let this me ask you a question. Then. Well, so let me ask you this. I want to go back to Lance Gidry and, and Shannon Dawson. What is it that they have have brought to the table that makes the Canes different? Uh, let's call a spade a spade here, right? They don't have the accolades in the sense of uh, 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 um, um, Josh Gaddis, right? They don't have the accolade, not just the Bros Award winner, but again, coaching under Nick Saban, coaching at Michigan, taking them to finally beating Ohio State, right? They didn't. Have, they don't have those accolades. They didn't have the Kevin Steele, the thirty plus years NFL experience, all of that kind of stuff that these guys have. That if I had to put both of those guys up in an interview, I probably would take the more experienced guys based on the situation of the Hurricanes. However, they fare 
way better than those guys so far during their era or their tenure here. Why is that? Personally, in my opinion, take a look at where the reason he pulled those two coaches from. Okay. They're grounded. They're family oriented. They're not the big names. And those are the ones you want to go and get that are hungry, that are all in, that nobody's really thinking about. Mm. Just look at how they coach. And they're great, what? Educators. You teach. He wants teachers. Mm -hmm. Look at his staff. He's a similar this year. Those guys were, the former staff was, was full of names. And they're not to knock them with, and with teachers, but this is, they, I don't think they were fully all in. Mm. Those, the previous staff. These two he has now, speaking in terms of the officer coordinator, defense coordinator, their backgrounds, where they come from. They, and in my mind, they're, they ba they're basically SEC-minded coaches. Okay. And he's building from where? Inside out with those two coaches that nobody's really thinking about. Because look at their demeanor when they're coaching the game. It says a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's different. They, I don't think we've had – well, I, I'll take that back. When we had Ed Orgeron back in the day on the staff, where was he from? Uh, Louisiana, you know, baby. You have to get those type of coach. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, there's no coincidence. Your defense coordinator and your offensive coordinator, those Canadian boys, but from the region, the South, the South. Mm. And so I, I just think nobody had these two guys in mind, and they bring something different to the table. All you have to do is watch their interview. Mm -hmm. You can feel, you can get a, a, a good vibe for people by their genuineness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's it's a reason that those kids gravitate to the, to the offensive coordinator and they believe in the defensive coordinator. Mm -hmm. And personally, those are some great hires in my opinion. Yeah, you, I'm going to say this. You said something that was big. You said the previous staff wasn't all in. And I don't know if you want to go back through the archives I'm saying that figuratively, but if you choose to do it literally, you're more than welcome. But I did bring up as, as great of the hires and the names as you say, and they earn those names the same way Lance Guidry mm -hmm. and Shannon Dawson are going to earn their name by being great teachers, being motivators, having great teams, winning national championships, doing it at the highest level. Um, I, I did say this that a lot of those guys got jobs and it's not a knock. This is just what it is. A lot of those guys got jobs because Miami was the best available. I brought it up kind of like, you know, a Mel Kuyper does mm -hmm. the draft, the best available. When you look at Kevin Steele, where he came from, he was sitting on the couch. He was from at Tennessee. All that was going down, sitting on the couch all that time gets picked up by Maryland stays at Maryland, I guess two weeks or whatever. Then Miami comes calling. Well, at that time, what's a better job? Mer U M, meaning Maryland, or the U, meaning Miami. Miami's exactly. a Miami's a, bigger a better brand. a bigger brand. There you go. Right. When I looked at uh, that's Kevin Steele. When I look at at uh, 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 Charlie Strong, right, and I I know Charlie Strong just through the years of recruiting, way back in his Florida days and so forth. He had just gotten fired from the Jaguars up on the Urban Meyer. Well, remember, the NFL is a little bit later than college. What's the best available out there? The University of Miami. Just calling it what it is, right? Because mm -hmm. I think he didn't yeah. get hired until. A lot of them want that. On their, on, as a, it's just another thing to put on your resume. Yeah. And, and again, right? If you could turn Miami around, it catapults you on to another, you know, stratosphere of coaching and whatever else the case may be. Um, Oh, I got to put the time. I got another call in. But uh, also, um, so as I look at it, uh, Josh Gaddis, we could take him as well, right? He leaves Maryland, and guess what? I I don't know that he was up for any other jobs, and and and, and the red flag was this guy's the Broyles Award winner, and people were not knocking the door down for him, and Maryland was I'm, I'm sorry, Michigan wasn't knocking the door down to keep him. Because money's not an object for Michigan. So, nope. so what was there was something there, right? There's a red flag that, that goes up when you say, okay, 
here's this guy coming. So I think I thought that it worked out that way for Coach Cristobal, but at the end of the day, it was also Miami was the best available at the time when you talk about football programs and brand compared to everything else. But anyway, I just wanted to put that out there uh, as well. Let me ask you this. Shannon Dawson, you talked about Gidger a little bit. What do you like about Shannon Dawson's offense right now? I honestly like the balance. The balance, okay. the versatility, and the fact that the motions he likes to use, that's key. Okay. Because you, he may show you one look just because this, let's say, for example, if Sherpa goes in motion this way, doesn't mean he's going to run the route. Most of them think they, they see, and he changes it. He switches <clears> it up, <throat> which is very subtle. Very subtle changes make the difference sometimes, you know, when it comes to being a successful offense. And right. also the running game. He may show one look to make it seem he's going one way, but actually going to Correct. Get the defense one away from the play. So it's just the little subtle things that he does and the, and the adjustments he makes mm -hmm. during the game. Acts on both sides is, is, is key. And those are the different. Look at back at the Texas A&M game. Those were key. Mm -hmm. And speaking of Texas A&M, nobody – is paying attention. The only reason nobody's talking about Texas A&M is because why? They lost to Miami. That team is not bad. Is going to make a lot of noise, and they're yeah. going to the rest of the country is going to find out this weekend when they play Alabama. Mm. Mm. So that narrative of Miami hasn't played anybody. When they see what happens with A&M and Alabama this weekend, that whole narrative is going to change. But coach, I'll let you go. I got I got this thing sitting over here and it's biting right now, so I got to get back to it. Mm. Hey, it's biting. I'll be, be, be tuning in. Hello, insane. It's biting. Oh, yeah. You know what? It's biting. It's biting. Ooh. Wait a minute. Hold on, coach. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I like it, boy. I'm liking it. Hey, be hey, easy, sure. boy. Because, right. hey, Johnny Walker hey, lay you down, you know, boy. For the Clemson game. I'll see you. I got you for the Clemson game. You know, that's my thing. That Johnny, that Jay Walt. Hey, we're going to be got you. I'm, I'm going to have that blue for you, though, coach. Super smooth. Listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got. I, I listen, listen. I had a fight with Johnny one time. He called his friend. He called his friend. Uh, uh. <laughs> he called his friend Jack, right? And I didn't even oh, know yeah. that. And I didn't yeah, even know they still. And Jack, I know them boy very well. Yeah, but they also had a homeboy that uh he got a ship. His name Captain Morgan. I like. Hold up, bro. Y'all oh, doing yeah. too Ooh. much. Y'all doing too much. Yeah, coach. You should have called. You should have called me. I'd have got you by that situation. I'm going to call you next time. I was I couldn't fight them all off, dog. They got me. But anyway, man, let I me know. push on. <laughs> I heard about that. I thought I saw that on the internet. They beat you down decent, too. Boy, they, <laughs> I, had a green, I had a green and orange eye when I was finished. We don't do black and blue over here. I had green and orange eye when I was finished. <laughs> anyway, appreciate you, dog. Uh, I know you're right, Coach. <laughs> sure yes, man. sir. Be blessed. I'll be talking to you. All right, man. Hey, come hang out in the champagne room with us, man. I know you're a member, man. Come on, hang out with us. In the champagne yeah, I be at the seven. games though most of the time, but oh. I got you for the next road game. I, I, I'm gonna definitely be in. Let's do it, man. All right, brother. All right, coach. Yep. All right, man. That insane DW in there. That's awesome, man. Hold up, I got seven, 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 seven off in here. Call to talk to us. Give us your name. Where you calling from? Coach, what's going? What's happening, coach? It's uh, Randy from um, Jersey. Randy right. from Jersey. What's up with you, man? I had a, uh, how you, man? You good? I'm good. I'm good, man. Excited to be talking about these Miami Hurricanes. Yeah. But listen, man, I got a quick question for you. Every, everybody healthy, right? Everybody mm -hmm. healthy. Who you got and, a, and maybe a score with Colorado and uh, Miami? Oh, Miami got the W, dog. I can't. Miami got the W. Really? I like, I'm a Coach Prime fan, but Miami got the W. Yeah, Miami, we got a W. Yeah, because of the, because of the front, right? Yeah, I just, I just, I, Miami got the W, dog. Like I just can't. I, I know people have been asking me this for the longest, <laughs> but I, say you mean. <laughs> no, no, what I'm saying, like, but people have been asking me that for the long. Who you got, Miami, Colorado, bro? I, Miami got a W right now. We playing too, too good. We, we on, we on target. Um. I mean, if they had to play, like, say they were playing this Saturday, I would, I would definitely take Miami. Okay, okay. 
Okay. And I think you're you're a little impatient with the uh like with that umph you was talking about. I think it's only because you're so used to have or seeing Miami with like forty dogs on the team, but now they only got like fifteen. Yeah, I, I, I think yeah, yeah, I think I, I I think the biggest thing is, bro, is like I think I'm waiting for that seventy yard run that makes sports center. I think yeah. I'm wait I'm waiting for that yeah. pick six where he break on it perfectly, like uh like the Cam Kitchens last year break yeah. on it. I, I think or, or a big major yeah. sack, ball come flying out. You see us getting to the ball, we scoop and score and act a fool in the end. I think that's the right. umph I'm looking for. Right. It's not about the overall game plan and right. play. It's that is that that I don't no, think we no, ain't no, nasty no. yet. Miami had used to have a team full of dogs. Like I, I was like, where do you get all these kids kids from? You know what I mean? But you know, I think it's slowly starting to come back, man. You guys just, just got to be a little more patient. Mm -hmm. That's all. Nah, we'll be good, man. But I, I appreciate nah, it. Yeah, man. I got I got get down hey, brown in here. I got get down brown in here. Right, it's ahead. about to go down. I got to warm my go hand ahead, up because we're going to get to slapping some folks. All right. I got to get prepared for get all down right, brown. All right, man. God, dog. I ain't expecting. Yes, all right. Appreciate all you, right. brother. I ain't expecting him to call in today. Yep. But get down brown. It's going to go down. Anyway, uh, Miami Kings 83. Uh, is that you get down, Brown? Says, Coach, why do you think Gaddis is doing so good at Maryland and having a good offense? Why didn't it happen at Miami? I'll just simply say this. Um, it's all my opinion, but I'll say it. That one, I believe he and Mike Loxley are on the same page when it comes to offensive philosophy. I don't know. Um, I know they had their riff, you know, Mike Loxley and, 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 uh, um, and Josh Gaddis at Maryland talking about who called plays or whatever. I don't think there was a, a budding of heads, you know, from a philosophical standpoint and scheme standpoint. I'm not sure. I'm only speculating. Uh, and maybe that's what it is. And also, a lot of that was in place. When Josh Gaddis got here, everything was being put together. Mike Loxley has been there now for a couple of years. And so he just has to come in, fit in, and be a part of the program and not help build the program, if that makes sense. So hopefully I answer that. Uh, juice, real quick, for the $5. I'm coming to you, get down. Get you a drink of cane juice. Break them yellow jackets off for the $5. Yeah, we're going to break them yellow jackets. Get that crap out of here. Get that crap out of here. Uh-oh. Whew. I don't know how to take this. All right. Got Butterfly in the building. Got Tanisha in the building. We got Ellen in the building. Wasn't that the... Hold on. Only one I'm missing now. Oh, she in the building too. Ms. Wilcox. We had the uh, Fantastic Four that time on the phone on the night show. Uh, y'all thought y'all was coming back. Destiny Child ain't had none on y'all ladies that night. But that's all right. I'm back for it. I'm here for a good time. All right. God dog on it. Here you go. I got to start him off. Ooh. Talk to me, baby. Talk. T. Hines in the building. Coach, I got. Hey, get down by Hurricane since 1983. I want to say good evening to all the ladies, especially Miss Wilcox. But listen, Coach. I got one thing to say for Georgia Tech. This is a raid. Everybody get just hey man, we got a big can of raid, man. We about to spray in day on Saturday night, and they gonna say one thing. Who's that? that and all that black? Huh? What? <laughs> Give them to him, baby. Hold on. Put, put a little put a little raid on the right hand side and then on the left hand side. All right, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let Thank me get a little you. bit of rain. Let me get a little bit of rain. Shh. This Shh. is the rain. <laughs> coach, 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 I got good news. Talk to me, baby. Thank you. Talk no. to me. I'm ready. Coach, I'm ready. good news. Yeah, yeah. Coach, coach, guess what? Coach, guess who got a ticket in the Champions Club on November 11th with Get Down Brown? Guess who got a ticket? Coach, I'm talking about up in the VIP. The elements won't matter. Guess who's going to be up there with me, Coach? Uh, you, you. that's you. what I'm talking about, baby. Coach, you. 
Coach, I got you. Coach, I t- come on, man. Coach, what I told you, I'm going to roll out the orange and green carpet when you come to Tallahassee. Now, I just want to let you know that I got it on deck. We ain't going to be. We ain't, we ain't down there with this. We're not even in the stadium, man. We up top, man. We in the VIP. Way up there? Way up there? Way, way up there? Hey, way up there in the, listen, way up top, man, where the cane juice going to be biting, huh? Pull pork, barbecue, all the elements, hog and dogs, ice cream truck, and red berry cake at a football game. Let me tell you something. Well, when I go, the, well, let me tell you this. If I get off that elevator and the person doing the elevator got on some garden and gold, guess what they finna get? <laughs> they going to have on. <laughs> they finna get slapped right there. Though, right there. Coach, coach walking out oh, with the cuffs on. And when I get to the police no, station, no. guess what? I'm finna give him, I'm finna give him up that crap out of here. Everybody getting slapped. I'm gonna Come say, on. get down, Brown, go get my bail money and tell him I tried my best. Hey, Cause hey, I ain't here to play no I games with him. Hey, hey, I got the sheriff on speed, dog. Real quick, man. These coordinators that we got made me forget about Kevin Steele. That's why Alabama defense is terrible. And I somebody saying Michigan had a success. It ain't because of Coach Gaddis. Okay. I've been watching football for 52 years and nine months. Been a Hurricane fan since 1983. That's he right. clearly was the worst coordinator we had. All day. And remember when I told E. Remember when I told E. Brown, I take out the rearview mirror, so I'm not looking back. I'm looking ahead. We got Georgia Tech. Blackout, baby. Huh? Coach, you got your black ready for Saturday night, man. I got my black and my neon ready to go. Man, it's going to be so black. I'm turning all the lights out and I'm closing my eyes to watch the game to make sure it's black. That's what I'm talking hey, about, man. baby. Hey, hey, man, I just want to give you a call. Hey, I know it's Wednesday and you ain't expect me until tomorrow. I'll be on tomorrow, man, but I had to let you know, Coach, I got you a ticket. And what I had to do, you ain't seen me yet. I had to sell some of my beard hair because some of these guys <laughs> can't go no beard. So, I you know, know, my beard is a little bit smaller. You know what I'm saying? But, Coach, we end up, baby, November 11th. It's sold out, but it ain't showed out to me to get down and Coach Hayes in the building. Did you just say you had to sell your beard hair, dog? Huh? I had to sell some of my beard hair. Huh? So I don't look like, you know. Yeah, crap out of here. I hard no more. <laughs> Come on, man. I just got, I got a question. Baby face going, go. I just got a question, get that. Did you get it from yeah, the I got an answer. Did you get it from the uh, uh left side or from the uh, uh right side? Coach, I got it from in the middle, and I'm gonna leave that alone because Miss Wilcox on the line. I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> Oh Lord, I, don't... I got it from in the middle. Listen, <laughs> if you're gonna talk like that, I'm gonna need a manscaped sponsorship. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that alone. I ain't gonna... that ain't beard hair, my man. Okay. That's something else. I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> We're going to leave it alone. Listen, to tomorrow night, man, when I call in, Coach Zoya, bro, hey, go oh. Kings, man, and we spraying Ray. We spraying Ray on the yellow jacket Saturday night. Hold up. 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 Hold up, Brown. Some buzzing up in here. What is that buzzing around up here? I, oh. The- I know what it is. Oh. Hold oh. up. Hold up. Shh, shh. Be quiet. It just landed right about. Right there. I got it. I got it. I got it, dog. I got it. I got it. Coach of our legend. Check your email. Go, King. I'm loving it. God, dog. Get down, Brown. Get down, Brown. Been a King fan since 1983. He's been watching football for 52 years and nine months. 22 hours. Eight minutes. And 33, 34, 35. 36 seconds. God dang it. If that ain't a fan, I don't know what it is. That's all I'm telling you. <laughs> Woo. Man, get down, Brown, boy. I'm going to call you Workout Brown. God. Oh. I love it. All right, we got one of the best phone numbers in the land up here. 7,000 coming to you. 7,000. Talk to you, boy. What's going on, my G? I'm good, man. Do me a favor. You got to cut your background down just a little bit. I guess you got it on TV or some computer, and we're going to get it going. But we in here rocking. Okay. Get down, Brian. What's going on, Coach? Man, I'm ready. Hey, I'm fired up. Get down, Brown. Got me so fired up, dog, that I, listen, he about to get an emoji as well. We about to get him a get down, Brown 83 emoji. 
up in this joint, man. What's up with you, man? Talk to hey, him, man. Get down, bro. Listen, get down, Brown the goat, man. Listen, but hey, coach, you 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 live in tune with a real deal came from Tampa, Florida, right now. All right. And I heard you ask a question earlier. You said, uh, what are some of the things that we admire about Shannon Dawson? Man, I love this thing so much, coach, that I got the U tatted on my right arm. And one thing I want to say about Dawson is I admire the fact that he spreads the ball around on offense. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He gets it to the freshman. He gets it to Jacoby. He gets it to Kobe Young on the end. Mm -hmm. Xavier. You know what I'm saying? And one thing that they always said about Tyler was, you know, Tyler works good in a, a spread offense where he's able to operate the way he wants to operate. He gives Tyler Van Dyke his, mm -hmm. his own free will. That's right. If you remember, if you remember um, last year, when it was five and seven, before the season really took a turn for the worse, I remember we played North Carolina. That was, you know, uh, one of Drake May's first, first time playing against another ACC opponent. That was a that was when Tyler threw for like four ninety six. Mm. We almost beat North Carolina last year. Right. I think it was like twenty four, twenty seven. But we had Gaddis. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Gaddis ain't that much of a uh, offense, a good offensive coordinator in my opinion. But they turned Tyler Van Dyke loose. You know okay. what I'm saying? And when you turn Tyler loose, that's when you see them Van Dimes coming in. You know what I'm saying? That's just that's one right. thing that I admire about. Shannon Dawson offense, you know what I'm saying? He gets it to all of our threats, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because we got so many athletes. No, nah, we do, man. Like I said, we got athletes all over the place. Um, and, and I know people have given to, to uh, I'm trying to say Tyler Van Dyke and TVD at the same time. I know we've given TVD a lot of, uh, you know, heat for saying, oh, he only looks at seven. But I have to be honest, he has spread the ball around a lot. Yes, Maybe seven gets a lot of the balls, but I don't have an issue with that. Why? Because seven catches the balls. Seven does what he's supposed to do with them, right? And and shout out to him, man. I call him X Factor. I don't even call him X Man. Seven gonna risk his life for that bit. Trying seven to tell gonna you. die. He's gonna do whatever to catch that bit. I'm trying to tell you, like this dude. I I still remember him in the spring game diving on his shoulder in a spring game for a football. I'm like, boy. If, you don't take him to the sideline and, and slap him around a little I bit. I like us to go 12 and 0, man. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I, I, I said 7 and 5. I like and I really feel like I'm about to regret that 7 and 5 prediction. I really feel like I'm about to regret it. I moved to the 8 and 5 because I had a mulligan. I had a do over. So I said 8 and 5. And man, if we go to, you might well go to regret that seventy five right now after this after this podcast is over. You might well go to regret it, coach. <laughs> it's over with. <laughs> coach, listen, I work Monday through Friday. I'm in Tampa. I'm gonna try to make it to that game in Miami Saturday. Lord's willing, but I'm gonna try to make it. If I gotta go Saturday <laughs> and come back Saturday, bro, it's a night game. It's, it's an eight. Coach, it's an eight o'clock game, dog. Tampa only what four hours away. So yeah, it's an eight o'clock game, yes, dog. It's a, it's a night game, so you got more than enough time. You can get on the cane juice on Friday, get up on Saturday, bang it down on 75, go across the alley, right? You go straight across the alley on 595. Alligator go, Alley, yeah. Yeah, go across the alley. Alligator uh, alley. Yeah, 595, make sure you got a tank of gas because there ain't no gas station out there. And you roll on through, you uh -huh. get right on the 595. <laughs> you're going to bust you that right. You're going to run out of gas on Alligator Alley. Nah, you're going to be out of gas on Alligator Alley if you run out of gas. <laughs> and then you bust that right on the turnpike. It'll take you right on into the stadium right there in Carroll City. My man's. That's it. And you'll be ready to rock and roll. Man, but I appreciate it, dog. Let me get the rest of everybody else in here, man. But, dog, don't be a stranger, hey, man. Hey, Always hey, call coach, in. I appreciate you. You too, man. If you go ahead, get on that road, man, be safe as well, man. All right. Great call right there. Woo. Get down, Brown, 83. I'm finna, we finna put a big 83 emoji in there with a, with a dude getting down in between. That's gonna be the get down brown emoji. I'm finna do that. I'm finna. I can see it already with a dude dancing between the get down brown, looking like JJ Walker with an 83 on it. I'm loving it. All right, I got my partner in crime right here. We are bad boys for life. My name is Marcus, and his name is Mike Lowry. Did you ever go get the brown sugar, Mike Lowry? 
I keep my sugar. That's part of the black culture. That's what I'm talking about. Talk to me, Mike. What's up with you, baby? Listen, man, I'm sitting back chilling, you know what I'm saying? Just going over the numbers and stuff, man. We need better numbers, man. I was thinking about it. We need 4,500 yard passing. We need to crank up the attempts. We need to get our backs. We need we got we got four backs. We got we got three good backs, but we got four backs. I know we got five backs. Listen, we need at least twenty five hundred yard rushing. We need to get these numbers up. We need to be in the top. That's how you keep the recruits coming in. You know what I'm saying? We don't got that many attempts and nothing. We got we got base offense, you know what I'm saying? We capitalize on our drive, but we ain't really putting up no numbers where we get so prolific. We gotta mm-hmm. go back to prolific thinking. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We gotta go back to prolific thinking. And we can't think them jet and them hot jets uh them jet uh uh bubble screen and jailbreak bubble screens don't work all the time. We need to start running concept routes and, and drag routes and, mm. and, and, and com- twenty yard comebacks and you know what I'm saying? I'm I, I wanna see my offense evolve, you know, kind of dog. I want I want I wanna see I, why why is twenty three not in the ball game? I don't never see him at eighty. I need to see them two in the in the game, man. They gonna set the edge, man. You know, yeah, we got a good line. Mm-hmm. Our line look good on both sides, mm-hmm. but I need to see more out of them guys, man. We can't have Oklahoma sneaking up in there looking like that right now because Oklahoma look good. You feel me? Yeah. No, I, I get it, man. I, I totally understand where you're coming from, and we're gonna definitely find out. But uh, you know, you, you brought up something. When you said 23. I thought you were talking about the tight ends, right? Is that what you're talking about? You're talking about yeah. stuff. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so and, and it's funny you say that. Exactly. Somebody somebody else just said earlier about our tight end play. And that's true. Besides uh McCormick, um, we haven't really seen a lot of the we tight end. Yeah, we haven't seen a lot of the tight end. We use him primarily as a blocking tight end. Um, but we haven't seen the tight ends receive a ton of targets. So maybe that is right. something that they'll work this week. And I have to be honest, I haven't got a chance to get to it. Uh, but I'm going to actually start also, looking at to, Georgia Tech stuff right now I, I need to, to see. see. Mm-hmm. Also, I was trying to tell you, I need to see Shannon Dawson uh, run those backs out with those damn um, tight ends pulling for him out there in the open with those uh, big, strong ass receivers. Isaiah Horton, bring him in, and Kobe on the outside, and, and let Don Chaney and, and, and Paris get that ball, ball swing it out, fake bite Van Dyke. Take the jet, jet, the jailbreak on the backside, and come back with the swing, uh, the running back swing, have back swing on the uh, screen right there. They, they ain't even got that in the offense. Well, they might it's have it. We just didn't need it. Yeah, no, well, I ain't seen no delay runs or nothing. I ain't no delays. I seen the counter. So I'll you know? say this. Hold on. So I'll say this, I, Mike. I'll say this. Hold on. I'm not big on people saying, "Oh, well, we holding our playbook." However. There is a reason to hold your playbook when you don't need it, right? We haven't needed to use all of those. You know, just because you got an AK-47. Oh, God, dog, I'm on YouTube. Just because you got a KA-74, right? Exactly. <laughs> don't mean you got to use every every bullet in, the, in there, if you understand what I'm saying, right? You might just need one or yeah. two. You, yeah. ain't got, you ain't got to just just because you can. Right. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. And I'm a firm believer in not holding plays back. But if I don't need them, then why use them? Right. How, you know, so like when we will play a tough team and it'd be real close and, you know, fans will say, oh, well, you know, we, you know, we want to show we, we want to show everything. Well, if I'm losing the game, right, I hate that. I hate if that. if I hate I'm losing the game, I hate right? When they say that. Yeah, but if I'm losing the game or it's very close, I don't care about showing everything. I'm trying to win this particular game. But if I am clearly right. beating people 48 points, 48 points, 41 points, 38 points, and in no jeopardy of right. losing the game, just because I can don't mean I should, right? Like. I'm up 48. Yeah. I'm up 48 to 7. Should I be running a fake punt right now? No. No. So I, I'm with all. you. I'm with you. But we'll see. We'll see. Oh, another thing, coach, I want to tell you that uh the quarterback that we're going against, he in the top and quarterback right now. Haynes King, yeah. So, that's what I said. Yeah. 
You know, and then, then I, I I know them boys been balling. They locked in, so they had a whole bye week. How you think they're going to come off their bye week? You think they're going to come off sluggish or you think they're going to stay focused? Because we're trying to say – everybody keep talking about 12-0. and 12-0 and stops us where we at. At a bowl game, we know 13-0. and We know 12-1. and We know 15-0. and Like, you can't say we 12-0. and You stopping at the point. We got to say we 15-0. and That's what we talking about. You can't say we 12 and 75 and 85. Right now, we rolling. We rocking and rolling. And, so, and I don't see I don't see nobody stopping us the way we are right now. But I do want to see more. I want to see more. I'm like a, a kid on, on on my birthday. This all you got for me? That's <laughs> it. That's it. I want more. All right, so listen. So what are you saying? We should be 15 and 0. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. That's what we should be because we got a movement going on right now. We already getting disrespected. We ain't moved nowhere. We've been dominating who we've been playing. We 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 uh, I love Ruben Bain so bad, man. That boy playing so good. He can play he can play anywhere on the defensive line. I love the way our defensive line. I love how the coaches allow these other boys to get reps and, and, and allow his other boys to get healthy so we can go into this ACC play with all our boys switching in and out. I, I see a lot of things going on for Miami right now. They're catching up with the waves. Like I can see them. It just got to beat these teams that we know we can beat. You know, understand what I'm yeah. saying? Like the North Carolinas, we should never ever have no conversation about the North Carolinas, man. No, I, I, I again, right? North Carolina, and y'all know I hate the word Duke. Oh my God, bro. Duke. But, you know, Duke had to play <laughs> tough, dog. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Can I say this? I hate Notre Dame. Too. I hate Notre Dame more than I hate Duke. And I swear to God, I wish, they, I wish Duke would have yeah. beat them, man. Oh my God, I wish Duke would have beat them. Oh, and I did hate to see that kid yeah, get hurt at the bad, end, though, but at least yeah, it wasn't bad, season bro. ending. No, so they you got to remember, had. though. Remember, I, I, I tell you all the time, man, that shit be scripted, man. You can tell, man. Ah, some of that yes. stuff be real, but some of that stuff be scripted, coach. You think so, man? Yeah, man, they be point shaving, man. Come on, man. You know that, man. They, they, oh. they, they, they be catching people all the time, man. I'm going to tell you like this, dog. I'll tell you like this, Mike. I don't think that if anybody's into it, which I don't think so, but if anybody's into it, it's got to be the real because some of those reactions from coaches, exactly. you know, we football coaches, dog, we ain't actors. And some of that stuff, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Some of that you could tell, like you could tell my Elko was hurt, bro. He, you could tell he was like, nah, but coach, they done got, they done got the, they done leaked the, they done leaked the scripts out there on, on some of them websites. Them, you, them, like, them you stop. Websites. The scripts have been out there, coach. Mike, stop. Stop it, Mike. I promise you, man, I ain't playing with you, dog. When I come to you with something for real, bro, I'll be telling you, bro. You know I love you, dog. But I can't I can't go I there. Feel I can't I can't I go for that. Facts. You gotta get facts. I can't I can't tell you something without facts. You're right. Yeah, it's it just hard for me to say like yeah, I yeah. Uh-uh. Coach, you ever seen this conspiracy <clears throat> about the Bart Simpson? Take your time out and Google Bart Simpson on YouTube and, and watch all the conspiracy series that Bart Simpson are revealed over the time and all that shit done came true. Come on, coach, man. I ain't, I ain't, I'm, I'm, I'm out the box. I'm did, out the box, baby. Did Bart, Sim- did Bart Simpson predict the Notre Dame Duke game? No, nah, they ain't do that. That ain't, that, ain't, that, ain't, that, ain't, that ain't part of that game. That ain't part of it. But they gonna have, they got something in there for you though. Oh, I good. bet you they got a, a Super Bowl or two <laughs> and some and some NBA championships. Oh godly! Oh man, I love it, man. You gotta check it, coach. I'm telling you, I, I'm gonna go check, check it out. out. The people, in the, uh, people in the chat, no. You got me scratching my head. You got me thinking that the Earth is flat. You got me thinking like I'm gonna go get me uh, a ten four hat. I don't know what to do next. You know that can you be biting that cane of us, man. You know that cane of us out here. Man. I'm on that cane juice. That boy Mike Lowry on that cane. Can I bus? Yes, sir. I love it, man. Hey, but coach, yeah, man. Back, back to this. Back to the script, man. I, I, I just want to see more guys. I like, I like the different um misdirection plays they got to uh JoJo and then I mean Ray Ray and uh. What Smith, mm-hmm. they need to be able to um, use them as decoys and, and try to go deep. If we can fake the screens, fake the jet screens, and fake the, the, the jet bubbles, 
and, and fake the boomerangs the, the to Ray Ray and, and Smith and try to get Kobe and George them deep yeah. and Strepo and bring Skinner underneath. Ain't nobody can stop that. Them boys look too good and too powerful and too strong, too elusive. I just want to see the attempts get up there. I want to see them going to more of a rapid fire offense. The defense looking good, but like that, I want to see Harvey dropping in the flat. I don't want to see that. Yeah. I want to see Harvey attacking the quarterback. You understand? I don't want to see nobody but 31, uh, 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 22, uh, uh, 11. I like 11. He he playing good. Who? who who's 11? Who's going to be 11? You know who your 11 is. You know who your 11 is, who I was bad on last year. Hey, hey, like Tupac said, say his name. Say his name. I can't say his name because I, I, I was bad on him. Say his name. <laughs> say his name. <laughs> say his name, Mike Lauer. You know what? He got instincts, man. He got instincts, man. I, say, like, I like the way he finds them Mike. Like, open holes and the gaps. And he, feel, he, be fit, he be filling them holes, man. And he throw everything he got out there. Every little 300 pounds, 225, 10 pounds, whatever he's throwing, he out there throwing that thing. And I love it. Listen, they moving around, man. They moving say, around. They done got. They done got the memo. They done got the memo. They know the assignment. I just need to see more kickoff returns because we were dominant on kickoff returns. We were dominant on punt returns. We were dominant on taking the slants and the bubbles to the house. We were dominant on jump balls. We were dominant on punt return blocks. We always won games with blocking punts and blocking field goals and stepping up on defense. We 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 back. But they, they, they're disrespecting us. That's the new thing right now. We ain't no reason why we should be 4 0, 5 0 with two, two ranked teams that lost two losses already. Them teams ain't better than us. Mike, can Please. I ask you, Mike, can I ask you a question, Mike? And I'm going to let you go. I got another call. Yeah. Again. Listen, you didn't say his name. I see what you try to do. You, you, pull out the, you pulled out the, the political thumb. No new taxes. Let me tell you something. Say his name, Mike. Say his name. Tell me what your dad used to tell you one time. How many times you said you you want you want you want you best you best one how how the, how the saying go? I don't know what you're saying. I'm one. I'm one. I'm, I'm the great one. I'm only one. It's something you got a saying you got that you your pops used to tell you about the number eleven. Oh, I'm waiting for you to say his name first so I can tell you the saying. What's his name? Flag, man. What up? Say his whole his name. name Corey Flag. Say his whole name. AKA the underdog king in the building. Hashtag Coach Hayes. Got a question for you, Mike, before I let you go. You know why Corey Flag wasn't yes, number sir. 11? You know why he wasn't number 11? Yes. Huh? No, sir. Tell me, sir. Because he. I don't know. That's why I asked you. Because. Because he number one twice, baby. That's why. Mike, I love you. I got yeah. to go. I got to run, man. Appreciate you, dog. All right. <laughs> All right good All call, right. man. Mike Laurie in the building, man. We bad boys for life, man. Coming to you next here, 5153. Call or talk to us. Give us your name. Where you calling from? What's going on, coach? I'm good. I'm good. Who am I speaking with? You're talking to you, man. From Central Florida, originally from Miami. How you doing? I'm good, brother. Talk to me, man. What's on your mind? I want to hear about these uh these coordinators, man. Are they are they bringing the U back? Yes, sir. And I'm gonna tell you why. I don't know what it is about that cat Gidry, but if you remember the old offensive line, uh, coach Art Kehoe. Mm -hmm. Yes. This cat remind me. He even looked like Art Kehoe. He does. And I think he and I think he coaches with that same fire, and that's what got that defense running like they're running right now. Now I'm gonna give Corey Flag his flowers because that boy he's been playing, but that's only because you know they brought that boy Marino in, and he's you know that boy stepped up. So uh, as far as like um, what's the offense coordinator name? I'm sorry. Uh, Dawson. Yeah, Dawson Shannon Dawson. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he he's doing something right now. I think man needed that. He needed to bring some 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 life to this offense. Mm -hmm. And when he hired Dalton, he knew exactly what he was doing. And this boy here, the way he's got these wide receivers running these routes, the way he's got these running backs running these running through these holes, got these offensive linemen coming off the ball. I'm telling you, at least we got to keep these boys for at least three years. You know what I'm saying? These boys are what we need to get back on track.
<laughs> no, you're hundred percent right. Hey, Chad tripping in the chat. I'm gonna get to Chad in a second. But no, you're hundred percent right, man. I, I I do like Shannon Dawson, like you said, kind of in the off season. Uh, he was the one between the two coordinators that had more of the media presence. You didn't see a lot from Lance Gidry, so didn't really know what to expect because you don't get a chance to kind of peek into who he is as a person. So you got to kind of go off to what the players right. say, you know, when they ask the reporters ask, well, what kind of this, what kind of person is he? So you had to kind of gauge it off of that. But I, my only thing, the, the, the only thing I'm going to say, the only thing, I'll go ahead. You, you said it first. Yeah. Go for it. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, I was going to say, Gidry, he's that dog as a far as defense coordinator. It's something about that that Louisiana boy that comes out of him, man. He's just like, he's just vibes with like South Florida players. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He's like that old school coaches that, man, whatever, let's get it. I love and it. I think the players from Miami can respect that. And that's why they, they, they activate when he's up there coaching and they understand where he's coming from. They feel him on that. I love it, man. I love it, bro. But anyway, man, I got to roll on. Got uh, I got my man Warren Kane back here, a.k.a. the Seal right. Team Six of Coaching. But appreciate, appreciate it, man. Coach. Anytime, brother. Thank you for calling. Real quick. Yes, <laughs> Real quick, Shad says, Coach, you should have asked, not this, not the caller now, but the previous caller, Mike Laurie. Coach, you should have asked him, did that woman really set up Mary and Barry? Damn, y'all don't set me up. <laughs> hey, Shad. Join us. I'm swatting cats today like yellow jackets. I'm swatting them out of there. Get out of here with that foolishness. Melissa in the building. What's up with your hoodie girl? Speaking of hoodie girl and women, where the ladies at tonight? I got Butterfly in the building. I got Tanisha in the building. I got hoodie girl in the building. I got LMV in the building. I got the Oracle in the building. And probably some more ladies that I don't know. Where y'all at? Call on in. Let's talk some Kane ball, man. Let's talk. Some, even if you don't talk Kane's football, just ask a question. Just call in and say hi. My man, Warren Kane in the building. What's up with you, baby? What's up, my friend? How are you? I'm good. You're sounding a little giddy there, Warren. Listen, I am I am beyond excited over for what happens the rest of the year. Because listen, we're four and zero right now. It, we're going to. I, I, I know we're going to beat Georgia Tech. I don't know that we're going to blow them. I don't know. Don't care. But I know that this is the, not the team we had last year. I am just almost beside myself looking forward to next year. Because regardless of what happens this year, if we trip up and fall short, the precedent has been laid, the, the, or the foundation has been laid, the precedent has been set. Mario is going to be dragging him in next year. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Easy, big fella. Easy, big fella. I, I'm telling you, listen, I'm – uh, honestly, there's a very real possibility we can go undefeated into Florida State. Listen, nobody in um, in the world would have picked that. There's a very real possibility that happens. Now, it's not etched in stone. We still got three or four games before that. But given what we've put up the, on, on the field so far, it's not beyond the scope of possibility. And I, you know what? You said that Texas A&M was our litmus test. Yeah. I have always said, or this this past year, past couple of years, North Carolina, because that was clearly the weakest of the teams that we couldn't get off our back. Now we got a chance. Clemson was their national champions. It's, you're going to have to be, you bring your A game to knock them off. Now they're not the same Clemson that they have been, but they got the resume that we don't. So I always thought North Carolina was the bigger litmus test because if we can't beat the the the, the lesser uh, opponent. How are we going to do against the better opponent? So I'm really looking forward to that game in two weeks. I cannot wait. Uh, so I'm, I'm sorry for talking so much. How you doing, buddy? I'm good, man. I guess you're doing all right. You're feeling I, pretty good, man. I tell you, I tell you, I can yeah. tell you're in great spirits about the Canes. Listen, you have no idea. I'm just. This is a good time in Warren's life. I got to be completely honest with you <laughs> <laughs> on many levels. So, awesome, man. Awesome. Uh, I'm happy, man. All right. I yeah. am happy, man. But listen, right, let me ask you this real quick. I'm, I'm going to ask ahead. you. Go ahead. Because we, we got a little bit of time. I'm still waiting for some of the ladies to call in. Oh, gosh. The black uniforms, do you like them? What? Do you think it makes a difference? What? No, I know. I, I don't know that if it makes a difference. I know these young kids like it, and that's fine for them. But me, I, listen, what I like is the white pants 
and the orange tops, the old school, what, what I saw all so, growing up in the eighties, that's the team that, 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 that's the uniform I like. And the two thousands, when they wore the green pants and the white, I wasn't a big fan of that. Those combinations. I like the white pants, with the orange jerseys. I love it. That's my favorite. I just, they wore that all the time. Every time I wouldn't be upset. Now I know these kids like it. And you know what? My little brother absolutely loves it. He thinks it's the coolest thing that and the, uh, what the stormtroopers? I don't like that one either. <laughs> like when they were wearing, when they had that 15 lateral game, I didn't like that uniform that all white that's for Texas or some other school, not for Miami. I just don't like the, I don't like the all orange. I don't like the all green. I don't like the all black and I don't like the all white. I want some sort of mix in there. So okay. that's my opinion. And I know it's worth, it's worth two cents and, now nah, they two cents anymore. It's nothing. <laughs> I love it, man. Well, Warren, you take it easy, man. I got hoodie girl in the backpack here, yeah? so we're gonna make sure we go ahead and get Do it you down. Like you? I always tell people I'm gonna be honest with you. I never care about uniform. I'm I'm like you, um, you know. I it, put on whatever and let's ride. That's how I feel. I'm just. It, it for me, I understand why they do it. I I I have a total understanding, but I never once. Watched a football game and was like, man, look at those uniforms. Like, I never once looked at a game and said, man, look. Like even when Oregon came out, I was like, I I looked at the game and I know I'm kind of square for that little L seven ish. However, uh, you know, it wasn't a big deal to me. I, I'm I'm like Penn State, Alabama. Like you know, it can be the same thing and go for it. I just want to see you play. But anyway. All right, man. Given the way that this season is going, I don't care about it either. You have a great evening, buddy. I'll talk to you soon. Appreciate it, man. Thanks a lot, man. All right, here we go. Right, yes, sir. All right, we got Hoodie Girl in the building on the phone. What's up with you, Hoodie Girl? What's up, Coach Hayes? I never miss an opportunity to call in, and you were asking for some ladies to call in. So I figured, why not? I love a good chat. I love a good chat, right? You call on in real quick before you get started because you say you want to talk a little Canes hoops. I don't have a problem with that. Coach me, coach. Talk to me. Let me know what it's all about. But I see you on YouTube now. Who are you on YouTube with? Yeah, I said that because I actually just finished up. We just did a live on the Buckets Pod. But earlier today, we released an interview with uh, DJ Irving, who's one of the assistant coach for the men's basketball team. It's about 30 minutes. But it was a great – it's probably one of my favorite people I've ever gotten to speak to as far as, like, within the Canes programs. Okay. Um, he dropped a lot of knowledge, and he's just a really fun guy. So if you all check out Six Ring Canes and look for the, the Buckets title, look for our, our DJ Irving interview if you want to want to learn some hoops and learn a little bit about behind the scenes of the men's basketball program. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm glad you guys are, are expanding that thing out and breaking it out. Uh, go for it. I understand. I don't know you are an alum. Uh, of Miami, so you definitely are are all in. What's your thoughts, real quick? Uh, you know about the Canes and the the coordinators and the black uniforms and all of that stuff. Um, I love Coach Dawson. I literally go and watch the press conferences, and I always watch his first. He's so enjoyable to listen to, and like the passion he already has for the program, like it's just so refreshing after the poison that we had last year for lack of a better word. Mm -hmm. um, but no, I love both of our new coordinators. I think Gidry's awesome too. Um, I've actually always been a fan of the black uniforms. I love how orange and green pop with a black background. So like for me, like all of my canes here, like I have an entire shelf just for my canes here. And I probably have the most black t-shirts mm. and hoodies out of any of the colors between orange, green, white, and black. I probably have the most in black. I just like how the orange and green pops on it. So I'm super excited for a blackout. I'll be at the Georgia Tech game, uh, tailgating in green lot. So you come join the party if you want, Coach Hayes. I wish. If I was down there, I would definitely, definitely. Man, I've been on the road every weekend like a, a doggone uh, insurance salesman. Boy, I've been gone every weekend. Oh, no. Oh, my God. It's been crazy. But uh, I'm definitely, I'll be down for the Clemson game, most definitely. And we're we working on the Florida State you game. show up at my tailgate. I am. Last time it was raining. Well, yeah, but Coop's going to be at my tailgate for Clemson, so you got to come say hello. Definitely will. I would definitely be down there to see you and Coop and everybody else. And uh, like I said, I get confused because they did change the colors in the lots. It used to be the orange lot. Now it's the blue lot and then the maroon lot and the green lot. And I'm just confused. Yeah. So, yeah. But I'll definitely find you guys. We'll definitely uh, link up. and I'll Or I'll hit you on Twitter and find out exactly where you are and all of that. For sure, you can come see the Coop Lance Leggett race 
Oh, yes. Matter of fact, we might go live and record it. How about that? We go live and see somebody. Somebody going to pull a hamstring. Watch Coop embarrass Lance. <laughs> if Lance Leggett loses that race. Oh, brother Lance. Oh, I, boy. My money's on Coop. I got faith in my boy. No, nah, I like it. That's awesome. That's pretty good. Somebody going to pull a hamstring out there. That's all I know. <laughs> That's it. But, yeah, like I said, I appreciate it. Yeah, we're just having a good time. We're just talking, getting some uh, middle of the week talk in. Uh, you know, football is in full effect, and the games come on pretty much, you know, Thursday through Monday. Uh, so you kind of got Tuesday and Wednesday to cram everything in there without competing with a game. So, yeah, I love it. Is. I love when you go live and I'm not at work so I can I can drop in and call in and chill in the chat with Miss Ellen. She's my favorite. Oh, Hi, yeah. Ellen. The producer in the building. <laughs> there it is, man. But, yeah, we'll definitely catch up and we'll make it happen. So I appreciate you, hood girl. Oh, sure. Thanks for letting me call in, Coach A. It's always a pleasure. Come on. You, you don't have to let you call in. That's, my number is your number. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> you have a good one, Coach. You too now. All right, man. We have hoodie girl in the building. Hold up. Hold up. Somebody been hiding in the background here. <laughs> Get down, Brown. Is that you? Are you still hanging out? Yes, sir. <laughs> that, this boy don't go nowhere. I'm going to slap your face just for being loyal. I'm trying to tell you, boy, this man here, Get Down, go, Brown, go, then go, shaved go, his beard. Go, go, <laughs> Ain't hung up the phone. Go, I'm still here. Yes, sir. Get down, Brown. From I've been a Kane fan since '83, living in Tallahassee, um, amongst them doggone garnet and gold goons, and we ain't having it. I'm loving it, man. Hey, this man right here don't play I can't nothing. Go nowhere, baby. Listen, you don't cut no corners like a Wendy's patty, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Mm, give them to him, boy. You back in the <laughs> building, boy. I tell you, boy, I can't wait till we get down. Hey, I'm trying to get a V12, trying to get that to, to Tallahassee as well. We're going to try to make it happen, and we're going to see what's going on, man. I'm trying to tell you, boy. Whew, we finna turn hey, Tallahassee I'll out. I'll come get y'all in the get down. I'll come get y'all in the get down mobile. Say the word. The get down mobile? It got to be orange or green. Yeah, what well, color What it, color is the get down mobile? It, orange or green? It's orange, baby. Come on, coach. <laughs> That thing probably got a little bowling ball paint on it with the rims. Oh, I can see it right now. Come on. Oh, hey, all that, baby. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I looked up. I said, this man is still on here hanging out on the phone line in the background. <laughs> I'm loving the man, but I got E. Brown. I know he called in. It's about to be it anyway. I wasn't going to stay on here too long. We got uh, an hour and a half more, but, you know, I got you. Hey, I'm making you an emoji. So when you come on, hey, I heard it. I love it. Listen, I love it. I can't wait, baby. When you come on, and guess what? I'm gonna make it true. Cause guess what? I don't got get down for nothing. I be dancing when they can't come on. Me. You'll see. I ain't gonna tell you everything. Hey, if I tell you everything, I ain't gonna know nothing. I got you, coach. Well, you sound like you got some Stacy Adam cleats, dog. That would sound like you got. <laughs> you sound like you got some Stacy Adam cleats. Orange, orange, orange and candy green. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, I'm loving it. All right, man. Let me go ahead and get in here, get E Brown in here, and uh, and listen to loquacious, the loquacious E Brown coming to the stage. Right, and let him vasculate, and let him vasculate, let okay. him, let All him right. vasculate, pontificate, and uh, bloviate <laughs> before we, before we, before we slap a lady. But come, come on in, E Brown. <laughs> All right, let me get this man on the line. Appreciate you getting down, bro. All right. Yes, sir. Oh, anytime, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I didn't realize he was back there hanging out in the background. Uh, real quick, appreciate you, hoodie girl, for calling in. Well, at least we had one of the ladies call in. The other ladies don't want to call in. I, I don't know. <sighs> that man said, get down, Mobile. <laughs> I can't. I gotta go to Florida. Even if I don't go to the game, I get, I'm going to the game. But if, even if I wasn't going to the game, I want to go just to meet Get Down Brown. That's all I'm saying. All right. He goes, his cousin, his older, 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 older cousin. Used to have to walk five miles in the snow just to get to school. E Brown, E Brown, what's up with you, man? Nothing much. Hey, coach, get get Downtown Brown back on the phone. He, oh, he go. No, he 
Listen, he almost like security, dog. He he hanging out. You want to talk to him? Well, here he yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Well, Hold on, I'm like a genie, boy. I grant your wish. Get down, Brown. Talk to your man. <laughs> e Brown, what's up, my E Brown? What's up, family? What's up, family? I mean, you know, hey, hey listen, man, don't 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 spoil the thing. No, don't let everybody know we related, man. Okay, don't okay, let them know okay, we related. Okay. Uh, hey, you, you know what I just said. If, yeah, if I if I tell you everything, I won't know nothing. You're right, man. Listen, what's going on, baby? <laughs> so you you so you started in 1983 watching Hurricane. I started uh -uh, in 1977. Don't, okay. Man, don't worry. I started in 1977. And that well, you know what? You the go because in 1977 I was six years old. Man, I was at Stewart Street Elementary <laughs> School in Quincy, Florida. I had just won Mr. Stewart Street Elementary. Huh? <laughs> So, Wait a minute. <laughs> see, see, here's the thing, Ebron. The Browns won wide and deep. So I got to respect that, man. I was six years old wearing a, wearing a Bobby Afro. Huh? At six years old, baby. Mr. Stewart Street. I got the pictures on the wall. Yeah. Mr. Stewart yeah. Street. <laughs> yes, sir, I told man. Hold hey, up, but Ebron. Hey, downtown. E Ebron, hey, Ebron. Yes, hey, remember, don't hey, don't put no put no pictures above your bathtub, bro. Put no pictures of all your back. Okay. 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 I don't know where we're going with that, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I should give y'all the link. Oh my God. I should have gave you. See, hey, this show about to go Coach, left real quick. The family reunion. Man, you just started the family reunion. Can I tell yes, you? Hey, hold up. Hey, hold up. Can I do a proper introduction? This yes, is sir. this is the problem. Let me do a proper introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. Welcome to Kane's Talk Live. We got a new segment called Meet the Browns. Meet the Browns. Talk the real Browns. I told you E. Brown was much older. I told you E. Brown was much older than him. Man, this thing finna be so special. When we meet for the first time in Tallahassee, man, man, this thing finna go viral. Listen, that game sold out, and I went down there and knocked on the door. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, get down. What's up? I need two tickets. For me and Coach Hayes. <laughs> Let's do it. I might... We have no regular ticket. Hey, he talking about they cost $300 for the Champions Club. I say, I said, I need, huh? I went back to the cop. Say, I'll say, I'll say. I, I mean, I went back to that. I didn't ask you what they cost. I told you what we need. What the... We're not playing this game without me and Coach being there in the VIP. Hold up. Hold up. Did you just go back? I say, I say, I say, boy, I need three. I need two tickets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're telling me about what it costs. If I sold my beard hair to get the $600, do you think I'm worrying about $300? And I'll hurry Hey, Cubs, 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 wait a minute. What color was your razor when you shaved? What color was your razor? <laughs> <laughs> my razor was brown. I got a brown razor, man. Oh, okay, okay, all right. All right, all right, all right. Hey, listen, there, there's some guys over here. There's some guys over here who shave with pink razors, man. So we got we to we gotta keep it up. Brown, come on. I'm a Brown. I'm not one of those guys. Come on, so we're going to strike that. <laughs> Jury, strike that last statement by E. Ron. <laughs> hey, Coach, matter of fact, slap my uncle. Slap, slap, slap the <laughs> I know this. I know this. I'm told the pink, but, but slap my Slap the <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we all right over here. Police, we all right over here. It's just a little, just a little love slap. We're okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 we fine. We fine. Hey, hey, just yeah, we so, fine. We fine, man. I done lost yeah, control of the show. I lost control. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, like welcome to a new, a new, a new, a new episode <laughs> on this channel a called, called the, 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 the beta haters Browns in the building. Y'all clap it up. Coach, watch this. Coach, watch this. I'm going to tell you when it's going to go down. When, when me and E. Brown face get on the screen with your face, we're listen, going around, baby. I almost oh. listen. I almost, I almost listen. I almost was about to send y'all the link, but I said, hey, you know what? I'm gonna, show you now, I'm gonna tell you now before you see me. I look like David, man. I dress like <laughs> David, man. But my last name, bro, I dress like that for real, huh? <laughs> so you're gonna be the real Rob. <laughs> 
Oh, and listen, hey, Coach, Coach, you got to set that thing up, man. You got to set it up, okay? And the other thing <clears> is that, hey, you missed you missed earlier tonight. Downtown, I cousin do. downtown said, cousin downtown said, hey, let's do that raid. See, y'all don't understand. Y'all don't know what he's talking about. He's talking about that fantastic no, boy. That's that song. Hey, tell him who's playing that song. That's a bad jam. He's doing Yeah. That's that fantastic yeah. boy. You see, nobody, nobody heard, fantastic. nobody knows about that. That's Come along and ride right on the fantastic voyage. I know the song. There you go. There you Come go. on. There you go. Anyway, can I say this? Hold up. I know they're not going to do it. Everybody talking about bring them out, bring them out. It's hard to yell when the brown's in your mouth. Hey, I get it. <laughs> but y'all boys ain't ready to come on the screen just yet. I, I know y'all ain't ready for that. As a matter of fact, I got to cut this phone number hey, off. Bro, people hey, going to keep calling. Hey, listen. They ain't ready. Listen. It's, the conference has been locked. It's going to be epic, and it's going to go viral. I'm telling you, sir. I'm, yes, sir. Yeah. yeah, God set it up that way. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to yeah. And it's funny you say that, get down, Brown. When, you know, a, a lot of times when we do these shows, we hear people's voices. I know the names. I'm starting to, you know, you start to right. memorize the last four digits of the number because the program only give you, a, yeah. you know, give you the numbers and stuff. But right. you can't, I, for me, I you guys can see me, so you don't have to visualize what I look like. But I don't know what you right, guys right, look right. like. And I swear to you, get down. I thought you looked just like uh, uh, Mr. Brown, and you said you do. I did see, see what I'm saying. Listen, the resemblance, man. Listen, it's gonna blow your mind. It's gonna blow. It's gonna blow your mind, coach. And honestly, coach, I'm gonna be real with you, man. It's not cause I'm a king fan, and I've been one since '83. But my uncle beat me. He was one since '77. <laughs> so, but listen, here's the thing, man. The platform that you got, nothing against the rest of those guys, man. This this felt like home, and I was about to start one up this way. My own podcast because I got a gift. But yeah. here's the thing: sometimes it ain't about beating them; it's about joining. Mm. It's about network. Increase your network. You done gave me my long lost <clears throat> uncle, and we gonna make a grand <laughs> appearance, huh? And and man, listen, man. When we meet at the t in Tallahassee, and we go in the hottest ticket, and like my man said earlier, we're gonna be undefeated. But what the country ain't ready for is the dose of Castro oil that we're going to feed Florida State. <laughs> up to the see, you heard what I said. And see, you you two guys know what Castro oil is. And see, Grandma used to have to pry my mouth open to put a little Castro oil in there for my upset stomach. So they're going to have an upset stomach on one, 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 one. On no eliminated having Veterans Day weekend, Man, me and Coach Hayes invading Joe Campbell Stadium. <laughs> I'm wearing the same outfit that I wore the last time we won at the stadium. I got the same outfit. It's already pressed. It's already clean. I'm serious about this. Cast the oil and cane, sir. Cast the oil and cane, sir. Cast the oil and cane, sir. Right. Hey, they can't win if we ain't there. So when I went and knocked on the door, why they talking about $300 a ticket like that was going to scare me away? I say start shaving beer how till you get what you need. <laughs> and when I left, and when I left, Coach, I left some of that old beer there, but I also left with two tickets to the Champions Club. <laughs> and if my uncle that I just met say anything like Vasquez or any of the words that I don't know what the meaning of it is, I'm going to go knock on the gate tomorrow and get the third ticket. And guess I what? I won't have no beer on Veterans Day. Huh? Well, that's guess a what? That's, that's a pithy statement. That's a p i t h y. I need you to go. I, I need you to go get that. Well, listen. Well, listen. I need you to go lose that third, the the, the left side of your bed. So we're gonna need that third one. Okay. You will need. Listen, we're gonna need that okay. third ticket. I'm gonna tell you now, and you go holler at me. But let me tell you something. Okay. There's two things I need to no know because I feel like I'm watching. See, I, I know we're going back a little bit, right? And 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 some right. of the references right. that we make. Uh, some of these younger folks may not grasp the concept, right? Okay. And um, I feel okay. like I'm watching the movie Airplane when the uh, lady was saying, look here, Jive Turkeys. And uh, I'm feeling like I'm watching uh, uh, an episode. <laughs> I feel like watching the episode of Shaft when he said, watch out, Goldie. 
Stick yourself, fool. He said, huh? <laughs> Stick yourself, fool. He said, hold on. Did he say, he said, stick yourself. He said, oh, uh, no, 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 no. Stick yourself, fool. He said, oh, oh. That's how I feel. I feel like I'm watching Mr. Brown talk, hey, Coach, talking to Huggy Bill. Coach, Coach, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't make that. Don't make that. Don't make that noise again. Don't do that. You're right. You're right. That, that, is that. That's, that, 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 is, that is sound. That is sound. That is sound. But that's how he sound. That, but that's that, how he sounded. That, that. Listen, that's how he sounded okay. when okay. he stuck yourself. He said. Okay. Um, he said. Ooh. Hey, 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 let's, let's hit the pause button. Let's hit the pause button. Okay. Let's hit the pause, pause button on that pause. sound that you just made. I, I'm oh. not even gonna try to imitate you on that one because okay, all right. right. And, and here's the next thing. Boy, right. And here's the next thing. Okay. And then you brought up there's two two words you brought up the uh get down brown. You brought up the I word say, castor oil, and you brought up the word <laughs> okay. pre pressed. You ain't say iron. Uh huh. You said it's already right. pressed. That means that that means that you you use some concentrated starch in that outfit. That means crack. That means I got a crease so sharp we automatically got a first down when I walk in. When we walk in, <laughs> they're gonna say hurricane first down because <laughs> my crease gonna be that sharp. <laughs> hey 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 hey, cuz what kind of what kind of starch are you using? Alcohol? That stay flow. No, nah, that's new. Nah, that, no. That stay oh, flow. No, man, no, man, I use that. Hey, I use that Niagara. Come on, man. I'm doing white can. <laughs> and, it's in and and watch this, cuz. Watch this. Uh, uh, after I press them and start them with the iron board and pull my mattress halfway back. Put them under the mattress. The paper down. I, 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 hey, I got the chain gang starch on them too, coach. Huh? Coach. 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 Hey. They don't understand. I'm rich. Man, you don't. And my socks got starch too. They're from my socks. Oh, man. Hey, 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 man. Hey, nephew, oh, nephew, 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 not Niagara. No, Niagara <laughs> later, man. Don't use Niagara. Yeah. Okay. 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 Or, or the stay flow. <laughs> Hold on. You can use the stay flow also. Okay. You can use stay flow. Stay flow is, is concentrated. Okay. You got to put a little water because if you use stay flow straight what? up, listen. If you use that stay so, flow straight so, up, so don't don't say stay don't say stay flow, man. <laughs> stay flow just like stay flow like getting in the bathtub with a rubber duck. What you mean? I, that's like getting in the bathtub with a rubber duck. Don't say stay. Yeah, yeah we go. Don't make that sound. It don't make that sound. You made. Yeah, yeah. yeah, don't make that. Why, why can't yeah. why can't you say stay flow? It's, it's like it's like it's like saying I take a bath with a rubber duck. <laughs> okay. I don't, you know, that's what it's like. Don't say stay flow. I rather I rather you say Niagara. I rather you okay. say Niagara than say stay flow. I just I just said that stay flow was just anyway. But I'm gonna go ahead and say this. Hey. Hold on. I can hey. tell. Get down, Brown. You probably still have, or you definitely used to have. Those beads that hang down in the hallway. So, you know, before you go in the hallway, you had to walk through the beads. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. I thought I thought we weren't on the video call. You how did you know? I thought we were going to do the video call later. And you also have, <laughs> and you also have one of those lamps with the lady in it like this, and the wax be running down. You know how the wax be running down the strings? Like this, that lady Man, be sitting in the, Yeah, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I know. Coach, you right. I thought we wasn't gonna do the video call and show the world the, the Meet the Brown <laughs> football podcast, man. <laughs> man, you connect me with my long lost uncle. And, man, man, it's going down, man. This hey, man listen, let's, let's, let's talk about let's, let's talk about the menu. What the menu gonna be like at the, at the uh, oh god? The trail. Some, Damn it, some hog, menu? some hey, hog malls, hey, hey. some mountain oysters. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no! no I don't mess. Hey, don't mess. Hey, don't mess Mark up. Let me tell you about the menu. The menu look like this: seafood, mac and cheese, pulled pork, <laughs> baked chicken, barbecue chicken, colored Ooh. green. Hold on, hold on. That's hold on. That's that's the easy part. You got the nachos with the dip, the cheese, 
You got Nathan hot dogs. You got chicken tenders. You got the pizza. You got the chicken wings. The Hagen dogs ice cream room is up there in the Champions Club. All the adult cane juice and alcoholic beverages, lemonade, water, Coke products. In the far side, you got the sweet room. You got the red velvet cakes, the cookies. And did I tell you, we got two seats. We got one outside in the amenities, and then we got one on the inside where the weather won't be a factor. So <laughs> if it's a hurricane or it's raining on the hurricanes, we still won't get wet. Y'all ain't heard what I said, man. I, I heard you. I heard you. I, right. I, I'm glad you. I'm glad you ain't got no peach cobblers. You ain't got no peach cobblers. We do it. Uh, hold on, you didn't stuff. let me finish. And we got the no, sweet potato. I, I can't. We got the sweet potato peach cobbler. Oh, it's up there. Everything up no, there. No, I, I can't. I can't put that. That's still too soft, man. I can't put it in my mouth. Man. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that is a. It's a. It's a. <laughs> Four to five minute flight or seven hour drive back. Hold up. But, uh, I feel yeah, I got to put, go, hey, hold go, up. Go. I got to put my napkin on. This how you, I guarantee you, get down, Brown. You, this how you wear your napkin, huh? You wear your napkin in your shirt. You, you, already, you already know. Let me look at it. Ready to eat. Man, this ain't going to be epic, man. <laughs> Oh man, come on, man! Hey, <laughs> what a night! He probably got, he probably got. Hey, tell the truth, tell the truth, get down. You probably got so much okay. Scotch guard in that outfit. If anything land on, it just slide right off anyway. Ain't nothing gonna stain it. It, 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 <laughs> it. it slides off like a water on a duck's back. No pun intended. Uh. Out like, yeah, yeah. I mean, coach, <laughs> I told you, I'm telling you, when, when, while, while the security guard scanning us in with the metal detectors. <laughs> Uh, my crease so sharp it might cut one of the detectives, or it might set off an alarm. And then when we go up on the elevator, we're gonna be cutting our first down on the way up to the sixth floor. The Champions Club on the sixth floor. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm hey, 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 please, please don't have a white towel in your pocket when you go into this game with the, with that crease in your pants. Please oh, okay. tell me you ain't got no white towel in your pocket. No, you got sir, no white towel. Like it, no sir. No sir. No, uh, all right, good. Good, you're doing good. Hey, doing chat, good. can I say this to the okay. chat? Well, can I just I say this? Can I say this to the chat? I am so excited. I want to meet these guys. I've never met these guys, and I can't wait to see my right. ancestors. I can't wait to meet y'all. Like, um, you know, the elders, as they call us. Uh, you right. know, get down brown. <laughs> you know, you, you don't sound like you're a little bit older than me if you're only six at Stewart Street Elementary School. Um, but, but you I, listen real good. So yeah. I'm 52. I'm 52 nine months. And, I mean, you counted me down earlier, so uh, you know I'm transparent. But I can tell you this, uh, man. Listen, one thing about Browns, man. We 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 age good, man. Like fine wine. So that's right. Man, it's man. gonna be that's crazy. Right. I'm telling you, yeah, right? Because E Brown, because I know E Brown. E Brown, all okay. of like 107 right now. Like he was born in 18. When were you born? Eight? No. Eight. Wait a minute. Who are you uh, all you all you need all you need to know is, is that I went to I went to elementary at Booker T. Washington Elementary. That's all you need okay, to know. Kevin, okay. Kevin, oh, Kevin, oh, Kevin, oh Booker, Booker T. Washington Elementary. Oh, Booker T. was the principal. He was the principal of the school. <laughs> no, I'm asking. That what you said? Lean, lean on me, C Crazy Joe. No, oh. he was the Crazy Joe of Booker. Oh, I thought I thought you said Booker T. Washington was the principal of your school. That's what I thought you said. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, no, okay. no. Uh oh. Hold up. And y'all got hoodie girl. She says she a brown. Her last name is Brown. Uh oh. Uh oh. Get it. Get in this reunion. What she? Is? What? She what? What? Yeah. She hey, says she a brown. Hey. Huh? Hey, now, we now, got, hold up, we, we, got e. Brown. Rolling, we got some Rolling Stones in the family now. E. Brown, I'm about to say, you yes, you look like a stone that's still rolling. Oh. E. Brown, you went on, you hey. went on the other side of that fence for a second, all huh? E. Brown, you better cut it out. Hey, Papa, Papa was a Rolling Stone. We got the Rolling Stones in the family, boy. We Wherever he laid his hat, that was his home. Y'all too funny, man. I'm finna get out of here. Listen, I love y'all, man. Okay. We had two hours. Listen, man. I love you too, man. <laughs> hey, insane DW. Hey, hey, man. Brown. 
<laughs> listen, yes, man. Sir, hey, no, listen, but, hey, man. Insane no, DW man. say, Melissa, you might want to consider changing your last name after this. Yeah, y'all don't about scar the whole brown. <laughs> the whole brown generation is about done, boy. Because let me tell you something. Get down. If I picture you coming out looking like James Evans in this suit, yeah. <laughs> at this game, you gonna say God Almighty? Oh, what you, you gonna, gonna say? You go. What you gonna? I won't be doing the fucking chicken. Now I'm gonna tell you now. Hey, listen, you can't get no name like get down, and you can't get down. I'm gonna tell you now. That security guard gonna catch. He gonna catch. He gonna catch the devil trying to scam me. Cause I'm gonna be. <laughs> I mean, can you see? You say my emoji gonna be 1983 <laughs> and with a with a with a man doing like the Matrix, but doing the James Bond and George Jefferson at the same time. Now, see, you ain't seen me do. You see, you never seen nobody do the George Jefferson and the James Brown at the same time, Coach. On one, can't be done. Can't be done. It can't I'm be gonna done. tell you this. I'm getting a little. I'm, I feel like you could have been a high school. <laughs> classmate a uh, roger on what's happening like that's how i'm feeling right now you know what i'm saying i'm feeling like i can picture you right now you and rerun used to be battling it out you know what i'm saying y'all used to be yeah, battling it out in I the hallways no yeah yeah this is, i want no break dance i done told you who i danced like jane brown and george jefferson at the same time i done told you now i done told boy. you who i danced like <laughs> i done told you who i i done told you who i dress like and i done told you who i look like and now the most important thing, we're going to Dope Camel to do one thing. What? Bury the summer knows that Dope Camel statement. Matter of fact, yes, sir. matter of fact, they can uh, use your okay. crease, they can use the crease in your pants to cut out their grave and <laughs> dig that thing out. It's gonna be so sharp. That's what <laughs> I'm talking about. They can use it. <laughs> man, look, this was a classic, man. man I love listen. it. I got to get up off of him, man. I, mean, <laughs> I love y'all boys, man. Okay. Y'all crazy, man. Hey, love you too, man. Can't All right, brother. Talk, man, nice to meet you. Love you, man. Can't wait to meet you. All right. Just I'm gonna good night, brothers. I'll tell y'all later. All right, man. All right, real quick before I get out of here. Real quick, I want to say this for all of the members. I'm gonna do a giveaway for the month of September. So if you've been a member in the month of September, you will be entered into the membership. I will do it. I believe the post game. If I'm not mistaken, I'm gonna put a tab up. What do you guys want? I'm gonna give away two different items. I want you to put it up in the chat. I'm gonna I'm gonna Put it in the community tab. So if you remember, you can put the different items. We can find out something from the store. We could do it like that. Whatever it is, a hoodie, a cup, whatever you want to do. I don't care. Uh, as well as make sure you go check out our sponsor for this show. My man, Trevor. I'm telling you, awesome dude. Big Kane fan. Big supporter. Really helps this show move along at Interstate Sports Gear for all of your sports memorabilia needs. Go check him out. He's in Savannah, Georgia. But got nothing but cane stuff. He got other stuff too, but he was the cane from signed helmets, footballs, jerseys. You see the commercial plan. So whatever it is, if he doesn't have it in there, call him. He'll definitely find it. And he's always got competitive prices. If not, he'll beat them. Um, I don't know what else to say, man. Y'all got me cool. I got coffee out there. I didn't left the bags at work. I'm out there slinging coffee at work. You know what I mean? But so we got the insane ibis out there. If you're a coffee drinker. What you see is what you pay. No taxes, no shipping. It comes directly to you. Roast it the day in which they ship it, so it's super fresh. It, I'm telling you, if you buy a bag, it's going to blow your house up, man. It's that strong. Smells that good. Uh, what else do I have going on? Man, apparel, cane juice shirt. Y'all go check it out in the chat. Make it happen. We're doing pregame, postgame. Hit the bell notification. We hit 36,000 subscribers. Y'all clap it up. We hit 36,000 subscribers today. So it seems like every time I do a Kane show, great things happen. Great milestones happen, man. Um, and we'll make it happen as well. So like I say, we got the Kane juice on deck. It'll be on deck there. We might be sipping some Kane juice, watching Lance Leggett and my man, Coach Coop Race. And uh, it's like Mr. Miyagi. If somebody get hurt, just pour a little Kane juice on it. That's what Coach used to tell her. Pour a little Kane juice on it. You'll be all right. And uh, – and rub some of them Lance peanuts on it. Not his peanuts, but his peanuts. Yeah. He sells boiled peanuts, so that's what I was talking about. But anyway, y'all y'all get it. Anyway, we having a good time. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much. I hate getting off of here. I love my cane shows. I, really lie, I love doing these cane shows. I have so much fun. Right? And uh, I guess with all that being said, man, we're going to get back in the lab. I got to go make some emojis. I'm mad the Oracle ain't called you. I'm a little sad about that.
but I'll be all right because I know she's all, she's she's doing good. So with all that peace, love, and hell grease, it's always about the you and Coach Hazel catch at the fifty yard line. Preach. Somebody pass me my dog on cane juice around here. Get down, Brown. Still on this thing, man. What's up, get down, man? You still on here live? <laughs> I'm still here, baby. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby. Okay. Boy, I can't wait till we get in this game, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it's going to be on. They in trouble. They know they in trouble. Yeah, man. I'm here to the wall. Hey, I'm here to the wheels fall off, man. We go, man. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Bro. Uh-oh, we still alive, boy. I didn't even know it. What's up with you, though, boy? Man, we out of here. Peace. Peace.